Hey guys, welcome to the stream. This was a very impromptu stream. This was not planned. Like, it was maybe 10 minutes ago, I was like, you know what? I'm going to stream tonight. I wasn't even sure if I was going to continue this campaign. But here we are. So anyway, how's everyone doing? Now, in case you missed it, there was a battle at Hergig, because at the very end of the part two, the, the uh, stream crashed. Now, there's a link in the comment section of that video, because I did actually fight that battle. I was able to live stream it. It's just that I had to start up a, another one. So, just in case you didn't watch that video, we won. Okay? Actually, that decisive defeat in Order Resolve, I actually managed to win it. Because... It all came down to this unit here. See how much ammunition it has? Th I was able to kill the Lord with that. I refuse and that's the, that was hands. the only survivor of the battle. So, worth getting those resources, you know? You might think to yourself, Oh yeah, but I'm not going to recruit... I'm not going to recruit Marauder Horsemen. I would not have won the battle if it wasn't for those bonuses. Base level that unit would have run out of ammunition. Anyway... Let's start the day with some Wood Elf killing. How does that sound? Alright, so what we're going to do here is we're going to force march this guy up in here before we declare war. This will allow us to deny enemy reinforcements. Uh, because I'm going to take on the entire army with his Dark Aeons. It's just that... because Yeah, I want to draw them out of the settlement. It's just that I don't want to fight too many at once because I won't be able to outmaneuver them and I need to be able to do that. All right, let's see if I've got the balls for this. Consider yourself lucky that we didn't send you to parlay with the dryads. No, just no. You have subtitles now? Yes, I managed to turn them on. You know. Don't ever say I don't do nothing for you, okay? <laughs> this is for you, the, you uh, people who can't hear. <laughs> I figured it out. Don't say I don't care about you. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? I really thought I was... Hang on, what's the battle difficulty on? Sometimes I gotta check. I really thought I was gonna have to fight this manually. Well, Legend, you can still fight a man. Look what they're giving me. They're just like, here, get a win. Get a win for free. I don't want to fight the Wood Elves for... What do you guys? I'll put it to a vote. I'll put it to you a vote. I'll let you guys decide. I'll let you guys decide. Because, yeah, keep this in mind. There's a limited number of these episodes, right? Do you want to see me fight this battle for probably 30, 40 minutes? Or do you want me to just move on? Think you want to try an Ungrim Slayer on the campaign before DLC hits so you can compare before and after? No. No, I don't think so. Oh man, it's like 50-50. It's, it's dead on. 51% to 40... 50-50 right now. My god. I prefer it when it's like 95% one way or the other. Thanks for making work less miserable, Legend. No, it's my pleasure. 52% says no. I'll wait until it gets to 500 votes. The moment it hits 500 votes, whatever is winning, that's what it's going to be. Okay, and just I'll put it up over here so we can see it. So we're at... We're at no. When, as soon as this hits 500, this will decide what we're doing here. Currently, no is winning. Tightest pile I've ever seen in the street. It's pretty tight. It's pretty tight. You guys get to decide. It went down for a moment there. That is... What the fu... 50-50? No! No! <laughs> no! Come on, man! You guys are doing this to me deliberately. 51% says yes. 
Almost there. Almost there. I'd actually prefer no. And at 500. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? One more vote, and we're fighting it. Do you know what the annoying thing was? I forgot to not control large armies. <laughs> the whole reason I brought that other guy over. Ah, shit! What is this map? So not only did I fight the battle manually, but the the whole reason for me to bring this guy here, I didn't press the damn button. It'll be fine. Most of their units, they, they can't do much against this. Look at that, 51 to 48%. There's a 1% missing there. I've never seen this map before. Challenge. Also, I do need to make a correction on the previous video. There isn't actually a Slanesh Sorcerer Lord and Melee Hero. Can't believe I bloody missed that. Korn's got all their stuff sorted, but Slanesh doesn't. So, yeah, that was... whatever. Uh, actually, you know what? We should probably rush at them, I just realized. I was thinking maybe we should wait, but I should probably rush at them because I could hit them now and run back and heal a bit. Can't revive dead units, but I can heal them a bit. Legend looks old. When I've got a beard, I look old. If I shave, I look like I see dead people, if you know what I mean. I see dead people. Beard makes me the beard makes me look old because I've got grey in my beard, but when I shave it off, I look really young. But these days I have beard more often than not having beard. You just stay back, don't worry about it, dude. These guys are anti-large, but their melee attack's not that good, and we're highly experienced. They've got a good defensive position. Imagine if I lost this. They're doing some damage. I'm not sure if I should have made this attack up this way. They got a lot of Glade Guard coming though. We the oh, we'll be fine. We are fucking wrecking them. Yeah, they didn't have time to get set up. We are wrecking their ass. their reinforcements the archers to come in. Jin. Stop their missile units. Kill off! Run it down! Slay! 
Who are you? Okay. It's not gonna hurt us much because we're armored. Man, this army fucks things up. Would you say that your leak source is now reliable? It's a good question. You've always got to scrutinize things one way or another. Um, there's one little bit of information that was off. And I talked to them about it. And there's a good explanation. I can't really reveal it. But basically, the the uh, the mechanical mount knight thing. What was it called? Mechanical mount? I can't remember what it was called. Um, it's actually not in Thrones of Decay. It's been pushed into another pack. Um, going to what they've said. So, look, when it comes to leaks, believe what you want. Um, I think they're still reliable, but yeah, that was that one little bit of information was a bit off. But we'll see. Everything else was spot on. Things do change a lot. Do you think CA will fix Kugath tech and climate? Just, I just don't know, man. I hope so. I don't know. I don't know what's involved with the race updates. Just don't know. Apparently, they're a bit more involved than they were with uh, Shadows of Change. But man, I just don't know. Wow, this worked out way better than I thought it was. This is probably better than what Auto Resolve yielded. And I thought it was going to take like 40 minutes. Nope. Just yolo it in. Didn't even do a great job. So they got a couple of units that they haven't been able to bring in yet. Mechanical status for the Empire of Dwarfs? Um, I don't know, to be honest. I wasn't given that information. Yeah, I'm not told everything. Yeah, I'm, I'm given tiny little bits of information. And now, I actually probably have less information than the actual YouTubers that are in their partner program. Okay, just move out of the way. Let them come in. They're out straight away. Try to catch him at least a little bit. For the chaos gods. They're gonna make a battle rework? Not that I'm aware of. So weird how the YouTube translator is telling me exactly what you were saying before you were even saying it. Does it have like a five second delay? There is a little bit of a delay, yeah. So that's probably how they're doing it. Actually, no. What's happening here is, guys, you're actually not watching a live stream. This is actually a premiere right now. <laughs> I'm not live. I'm asleep right now. Um, this is all pre-recorded. It's all a simulation. You think the underscored info you have about the next DLC is still accurate? Uh, it's, it's accurate. I, look, I don't know. Um, the information about the next DLC, the thing to keep in mind is that plans can change. So it might be accurate today, but it might not be accurate tomorrow. I don't think you realize just how volatile things are at Creative Assembly at the moment. So 
This is why I didn't want to reveal what the next DLC was, because if I say, oh my god, look, it's Araby, and then Creative Assembly, they go, scrap that, we're doing something different, then I look like a fool. But I was right at the time, sort of thing. So, it's something that I sh Do you know what I, I was thinking I could do? I could make a private video and say, it's this, and like date stamp it. And then when it's actually revealed, I can say, look, there it was the prediction, four months in advance, sort of thing. But that seems like a lot of effort, and honestly, I don't, I don't... I was thinking about it, I don't really want to be the leak guy. I just sort of happened to get information sent in to me. Like, I didn't, I wasn't messaging these guys going, Hey, give me some leaks, give me some leaks. I wasn't looking for these leaks, they just landed in my ha in my lap. You know? I've sort of inadvertently become the leak guy. I don't mind. I def I, sorry, I don't mind. I benefit from it a little bit. Um, but it's... I don't know. I, don't, I just don't know. Alright, th this probably order resolvable. Yeah. Alright, so I'm going to vassalize them because we, there's no... Ooh. I'm going to sack it first. There's no economic benefit to Laurelon Forest, but if they own it, it's worth a lot of money. So, I might as well subjugate them. And that way, if we have a look here, they make me 462 a turn. And if they ever betray me, well, I'll just fucking kill them. <laughs> I'll just fucking kill them. Alright. And now, look at that! We're best friends! That we didn't send you to parlay with the dryads. I don't want to give these Wood Elves any territory, though. Alright, where are we going next with Archaon? Destruction for all. You got anything in here for us? No, not available. Northmen come! Oh yeah, I did say I wanted to take out the Hong, didn't I? Perhaps a tier list of your leaks predictions combine your tier list power with your leak power? Mmm, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, where is the High Elves DLC? We're so tired of Dwarfs in the Empire. I mean, the High Elves... They've had more DLC than the Dwarves in the Empire. Look, based on the information that I've got, let me tell you about races that I... Okay. I can't reveal all the names of the DLC. And I shouldn't rename uh, name all the names of the DLC. But let me tell you, from the information that I currently have, which could become outdated soon, Ripstart uh, subscribe to Tier 1 on Twitch. Thanks, do appreciate that. Let me tell you about all the races that currently I don't have any information about DLC. That doesn't mean there isn't DLC coming for them. It just means that, of the information that I currently have, I don't have information on these races. Okay? I got no information on High Elves, no information on Dark Elves, no information on Skaven. Again, doesn't mean that they're not coming. Um, no information on Lizardmen, no information on Tomb Kings, no information on Vampire Coast, no information on... Kislev. No information on corn. No information on Slanesh. No further information about uh, Zinch or Nurgle after this. No information about Daniel the Demon Prince. No information about Vampire Counts. Um, no information about Greenskins. Uh, Bretonia. Uh, Norska has got something coming. Ogres have got something coming. It would have been quicker to just say what is coming for what for existing races. So ogres, ogres and Norska. I think I know ogres have got something coming. And Norska, I think I think they do. It's hinted towards it, but we'll see. Uh, what was the other DLC? Cathay. Cathay has got more coming. That's all I know.
Did you mention Beastmen? Beastmen... A Beastmen have more stuff coming in other people's packs. But there's no Beastmen specific DLC, as far as I can see. Um, RSD 100 Super Chat, yo, LOTW. Tried playing France, I hear it's hard. Have you tried playing France and not suffering a single defeat in a 400 turn campaign? Because I have. <laughs> Thanks for Super Chat, appreciate it. I thought you said Thanquil was coming in two years. Yes. Okay, so Thanquil might be coming, but that doesn't mean it's a Skaven DLC. Okay, so Archeon, where are we sending you? Into Altdorf? Yeah, that makes sense. Alright, we'll send you to Altdorf. You guys send you. I know you're not finished, but you should be fine to deal with what we've got here as an enemy. Um... Harvey 9 subscribe with Prime. This is scrub for two months, going on one month streak. Thanks, do appreciate that. Lizard Boys, I have no information about Lizard Boys. Again, when I say I have no information about them, that doesn't mean that nothing is coming. It just means that I don't have any information about it. And as I said before, there is, at least to this current state, planned one more race pack. Do you think that CEO will make more race packs? Yes, one more. One more race pack. Are you a god? That's right. We'll see. We'll see. Like I said, I don't really want to be the leak guy, so... But I keep talking about it. Any chance of Vermin Lords for the Skaven? I don't know. I don't have any information about that. Probably. Possibly. But I don't have any confirmation. That that would actually be speculation. Um, What am I doing with this guy? Right. I don't have a spellcaster in this army. And this guy... We definitely want an undivided... Lord to command them. But it could always be an undivided demon prince. I'm just hanging on to these guys because I start off with them and I don't know where to put them. Okay, Wrecker's Point. We can hand that over to Wolfric. Let's board Seafang and find some southerners to fight. Nice. Without doubt. Now is chaos. Undivided Demon Prince. Yeah, we got melee melee lords for Slanesh, but not sorcerer lords. Right. Alright, I might keep this guy and make him an undivided demon prince later. Spread ruin on them. Uh why not Zinch Aspiring Champs? You you can't. If we go to... Z There's no Monogod Aspiring Champions. Aspiring Champions are always uh, undivided. Alright, what else haven't I done? It was at the beginning of the turn. Alright, so over here. Just hold on to Vismund and wait for... Well, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. There's no defenses there. If we lose it, no big deal. Witness my beauty. We won that battle there, but I'm wondering if we should keep a small garrison. I mean, I got plenty of money. And what's the point in occupying Kemperbad? I can't do anything with it. I guess I could just sack it for experience. Because this army needs to get better. I mean, it's not, it's not a lot of troops either. Bring ruin. Uh, 
I noticed that attacking caravans was not worth much anymore. Yeah, it really isn't. That's a shame they nerfed it so much. Any info on Greenskin Legendary Lord? Nothing, nothing oh, for Greenskins perfect. that I can see. Courting corruption. We march for Slanesh. It doesn't mean there's nothing coming for for the Greenskins, but nothing that I can see. I might just blow it up. Whatever. You dare. Yeah, a tiny little bit of experience on those guys. It's all good. It's all good. Gets a little bit of experience every turn. I am Slanesh's scion. Win a battle with another spellcaster in the army. Right. We, that means we need two. Hmm. How can I get that? That's not bad. That's even better. Yeah, making them a little bit faster. That's good. Have you had any defeats this campaign? No, not yet. I'm not really trying to do a no defeat campaign, I just haven't suffered a defeat yet. Warriors of Chaos are very strong. Alright, I said that we would take on the Hung. Just because I don't trust them. I will hear you. Let's find somewhere quiet to talk. Impossible! Let us corrupt! <sighs> Okay, well, we caught this guy here on Force March. I'd be surprised if Auto Resolve actually works for us. Oh, no, 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 don't do that now. We'll lose movement. I foresee destruction. Oh, okay. Well, uh, all right then. Well, alrighty. <laughs> that, that was pretty good. This guy could become a demon prince soon, right? We shall weave the fates. What was he again? Firecaster, right. 4.30. You dare. If I attack that, he will likely just run away. Destroy! Yeah. Timely arrival. Alright, how likely are they to come over here? Yeah, we would be able to beat them if they came here, I think. I think so. Oh wow, I got a lot of money. Alright, we also want to get to the Tower of Crack and capture it off Sigvold, uh, Sigvold, um, Azazel. Waiting for the right time to strike would be best. I don't need his defeat trait. The road to carnage. Dominance. Okay. All right, we've got the last point to put in for Archeon. So let's go. Three points to put in for him. Alright. Chaos Unchained would be good for a little bit of extra campaign movement range. And income from post battle loot and souls gained from battles. The souls don't matter too much. Uh, fetid Galapot. Yeah, replenishment rate's good. Alright, we'll go with that and Chaos Unchained. Last point. Could go magical reserves. 
I don't really feel like he needs missile resistance. The enemy don't really try to shoot him very much. Could put an extra point in a burning head. Magical reserves for five extra winds of magic. Why not purple sun? Honestly, these spells here do me just fine. Five winds of magic. Look here. Current got 116 max. Honestly, I'd much rather him just beat the shit out of everyone that he comes across. In melee. Cool. Purple Sun? No, I don't like Purple Sun that much. I, I haven't got Village yet, I'm, I'm still working on it. Alright, it doesn't seem like this guy's got that much movement this turn, which is weird because she just started here. And if we have a look at... yeah, they're, they're ready to fall. I definitely want to... Um, oh, what happened here? I think... Oh, look at that! Village has taken Bloodwind Keep. Well, that means that we're not going to be able to just snatch him away straight away. Are they down to the last two settlements? Alright, this is interesting. Because I want to um, vassalize him. Iron Storm and Dragon Crossroad would be good settlements for him. But we have to make sure that Village doesn't finish them off first. The gods direct me. The yeah, you're not going to be able to do anything with that. Yeah, he's on his last we legs. Okay, we should have met Village now. Yep. Master Got three settlements. Rule. His vassal is gone. That's interesting. Welcome. Good, my plan comes to fruition. I told you, brother. Mm, okay. Just curious. So these ones here. I wouldn't mind giving Midden Stag over to the to them. All them for that matter, maybe. Could worry about that later. I could tell him to just go and occupy Midden Stag. Because we're getting heaps of this per turn, yeah. That was one turn's worth of allegiance. And then over here, still gotta get more of these Nurgle Marauders. Karaberg's another good settlement for us as well. There's some more salt. You know I like my salt. Alright, just come over to here. Stay in ambush stance. Because these are not strong armies here. We've got to be careful with them. And we'll just see what happens. Don't need that there anymore. Sorry it's been asked before. Reckon that Elspeth will make Kyle campaign more difficult with the Imperial system? anyone's guess. I have no idea. I, I would think that it would make it easier. But I again, I just have no idea. I imagine the Carl Francis campaign should be getting easier, but again, anyone's guess. Alright, what technology should we get? Could be good to get that one there for Zinch, for um, Aspiring Champions. But I have to get do a lot to get there. Now let's do this one here, because um, that way I can give me some more Nurgle Authority. Oh yeah, we've also got Festus. No, yeah we've got Festus, but I respect him because I didn't like how he was doing stuff. This guy's got to go around and get the Chaos Giants for him. I just gotta find where there are Chaos Giants. Too bad I can't teleport around, that would make things a lot quicker. And there. Tribesmen, gather! No. There's one. Okay, go there. 
be nice if I could go somewhere and there'd be like multiple of them. Because yeah, they're actually really good. But this is fine. It's fine. We're in no rush to get him to combat. Is Elspeth going to lead Wissenland or have her own faction? I don't know, man. How am I supposed... Yeah, I don't know. I don't have early access, guys. I don't know. Supreme Sorceress of Grah. Alright, that's not mine. Lord of Torment. All goes to plan. Denied. My vision's pretty. Yeah, it'd be good to wipe her out before she becomes immortal. Although I'm considering vassalizing Malekith. Considering it. Alright. They shall fall. Should be able to auto this, I think. Think she is known? Um, yeah, no, she won't be Wissenland. Yes. She's not the elected count of Wissenland. She's the, like, the, the Countess of Nuln specifically. So, she, I reckon she'll have a campaign that's similar to, like, Imrix, where she'll have some sort of, she'll be like, um, uh, Expedition of Nuln. So, I don't think that she's going to start here. Because then there's two Empire Legendary Lords right, sorry, three of them right next to each other. Um, I don't think she's going to start here. Um, I think that she'll have an option to confederate Wissenland early, but she'll probably start somewhere out here. Or in the mountains of Morn, maybe? I, I don't know. Really hard to say. They really could put her just about anywhere. And that is just speculation. That's not leaked information. I have no idea where she's actually coming. I'm just guessing. Oh, I forgot to deal with this. We shall weave the fates. My lord, I do not like this mount. The gods smile. The eagle guides me. You need a boom. Alright, you can go back to Harganeth, I guess. Be ready. Moving on. Didn't I have another arm? Oh yeah, look, these guys here. That's what I was thinking of. Chaos. Moving now. Time to attack. Ooh, Malekith wants to play all. silly buggers. Okay. How bad is the damage gonna be? Pretty bad. Honestly, though, if I fought it manually, I could probably do the whole thing just with Bellicor. This army will get wiped out. Yeah, I think I need to fight it manually, just because this army here is so badly damaged, and because Malekith is right down there. As where in Tamarkan, sorry, and where is Tamarkan starting? Any guesses? Um, I imagine probably somewhere in the Chaos Wastes, but again... It's just a guess. Maybe Plains of Zanbaijin? I just don't know. Any benefits of not marking the knights or just more thematic? Well, I kind of feel like Archeon should have undivided. Yeah, I guess it's just thematic. Why don't you ask early access YouTubers? Why don't you ask early access YouTubers? <laughs> Why do I have to do it for you? I don't care where he starts. Oh, there are reinforcements over there. Okay, that's fine. I seek. I fly. He seeks and flies. Come and on. these fall down and die, please. Ah, oh, they didn't fall down and die. How dare they?
What happened to the one week break? Not that I'm complaining. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like I said, uh, I've said this before. Uh, my stream schedule is totally unreliable. Um, if I feel like streaming, I'll stream. If I don't feel like streaming, I won't stream. It's really that simple. I felt like streaming, that's all. It's not my full-time job anymore, so I don't have a schedule. You just gotta get lucky and catch me. I got another... put another point into that, don't I? Kill her. That would be good. She'd be worth a fair bit of bounce power, although she doesn't seem to want to win. Oh, there we go. I don't want to take too long in this battle. Where's your full time job now? It's still YouTube, it's just not live streaming. Live streaming is more of a hobby now. Like making videos, disaster battles, that kind of stuff. That is, um. That's my full time job. Although I've been slacking off with that a bit lately. Just haven't really been motivated. Next DLC race pack? Uh, the next DLC I don't think is a race pack. No. The next one is a, is a Lord pack. Yeah, I think it's called Thrones of Decay. I'm not sure though. <laughs> no, Legend, we meant the one after the Thrones of Decay. Yeah, after Thrones of Decay should be on the Lord pack, but things get shuffled around a fair bit, so... We will see. We will see. How much... How does Bellico have that much health? Um, I don't know. He doesn't have, um... Any, like, defeat traits that got him it. He doesn't beaten... Throt? I don't know. He does seem to have a lot, doesn't he? I thought he had about 10,000 health. I went looking through his skill tree, I couldn't see anything that explained why he's got so much health. When is Thrones of Decay coming again? Apparently April 30th. Yeah, it was found out in the Epic Game Store that it was coming out on April 30th. At least that's when it's coming out on Epic Game Store, but it should be at about the same time. He does have a... Um, Crown of Everlasting Conquest, that's why he just keeps regen. He's got so much base ward save that... They just can't hurt him. No! That's the problem with running on, on the speed. Oh, is that magic? Come on, there is no way that the Bounce of Power is still in your favor, Dark Elves. No way. Even doing this doesn't really make that big of a difference anymore because look, wait for it to finish. He's got a base of 26% ward save, 25% physical resistance, and then 50% missile resistance. So that means unless they're using magic missiles, they're not doing any damage and this isn't providing any benefit. Who are you most excited to play as from Thrones of Decay DLC? Uh, probably Tamarkan, but we'll just wait and see. Swensey. Just, I just don't know at this stage. I mean, yeah, most excited for Tamrakan. I really hope that the Nurgle update or rework is really good because I like Nurgle. I just think that they're weak.
Did they announce 40k this year? No, they won't be announcing that this year. No, this is like I'd I'd expect 40k at the absolute earliest to be 2026. That's at the earliest. How do you fight this if it is against you? I would have just auto resolved. I just would have accept. I just would have taken the L. There's nothing you can do. No good bloggers up. Uh, maybe I'll make a video on that later, but I'm not going to read over it during the stream. Ooh, oh, that sack money seems okay. Take that. Take, then burn. I'd love Better one Warhammer 3 DLC, no demons. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, the next DLC, no demons. I think. I think there's no demons in the next DLC. <laughs> I think. Unless they're going to squeeze in a few demons from other races. I don't know. No. The first demon prince. There are shadows within. Okay, and then immediately Take sell Recto Gorge to... Should I sell it to Harganeth? I mean, they're pretty happy with me. Or should I sell it to them? I kind of like I like Norska better. To be honest, I'd rather be because I get more allegiance point with them. Have my time. And they make good money as well. I'll give it to you. In agreement. All right. Now the thing is that leaves it with no garrison. So if Malekith wants to occupy it, that's fine. But he's not going to keep us trapped in here. Does he have lightning strike? Weakling. Ooh, he might. All right. We need to consolidate. Overrun the world. I got an idea. Hang on. Yeah, I got an idea. You. A certainty. You guys stand here. <laughs> and protect me. <laughs> okay, then Dark you. Master. The gods direct me. Yep. Okay, and then you can go away for a little bit. Alright, now, if Malekith lightning strikes here, we should be okay. Alright, what do we want for... Yeah, we definitely want Pit of Shades. Gaining more Winds of Magic, but that's all maxed out right now. So yeah, Magical Reserves would actually be good then. Get an extra five. Okay. Do you think the Bloodline Lords for Vamps should have unique traits? This victory is mine. Yes, I do think so, actually. That doesn't really matter that much, but I think that, that would be a great idea. This guy was going to pick up some Chaos Warriors from Zambaijin, wasn't he? Yep. And then he's going to go and keep an eye on this situation over here. Yep. I thought there was three! Yeah. Well, there'll probably be one down here, right? Overrun the world. Y yes, there's one down here. Okay. Well, there's actually two there. So that means we can actually disband one of these Marauder of Zinch. Just skip a whole bunch of experience go straight to Chaos Warriors of Zinch. Halberds. So this guy here, Chaos Lord of Metal, we just need him to get one level, and then we want to ascend him to devote to Zinch Lore of Metal, I think. Do I want to put another hero in this army? I guess I, I could try out... Yes. ...an exalted hero of Zinch. I guess I could try it out. Yeah, there's no Slanesh here. Durr. Exalted hero of six. 
Alright, so what are you going to provide to the table here? Change is the only constant. Mm -hmm. uh, that's only for himself, though, isn't it? That would probably be better. Uh, uh, not, it's not that good. He's not that good. I don't know. He doesn't have any really cool abilities. I don't know. He doesn't really tick tickle my fancy. I'll put I'll leave him in the army, but I don't know. He doesn't he doesn't do it for me. I don't think the exalted hero of Zinch is worth it over Nurgle. Nurgle's way better. This is, they're too boring, these melee heroes. Tribesmen, gather! Yeah, you stay there. Waiting for Blizzard Peak to get captured, but for some reason uh, Kolek has just been really bloody passive. Alright, I think we're done with this turn. Did you get air cold? No. I have to fight a quest battle for him. Right, I'll do that next turn. With Arca I probably have to do it with Archeon. Good, this will allow more Chaos Giants to start appearing. Fortress of Eyes. Right, I needed to sell that to you. To be honest, I'd rather be raiding, but you have my time. Hmm. You got no money, do you? Okay. Right, still got some more construction to do. Nurgle has two really good unique skills, I think. Regeneration, reducing armor. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely the best choice. But obviously, if I put a Nurgle hero in the Zinch army, that's not going to cut it. Jonathan Grover did a 5 super chat. Is there anything non-Aussies are obsessed with? And think Aussies also obsessed with, but Aussies don't care about it all? Maybe Bluey? Um... I can't speak on behalf of Australia because we're not a collective hive mind. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not an expert on all things Australian. Sorry. I just can't answer that. I have no idea. Thanks for Super Chat, though. Um, Athom2613, subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Look, here's the thing, guys. I have spent more time around non-Australians because I spend more time on the computer or on the internet than I have around Australians. So... I, I don't really care that much about my own culture. <laughs> I know that might be weird for some people, but yeah, I just don't really care that much. Being Australian is not my culture. Being a gamer is. G-A-Y-M-E-R. Gamer, fully. <laughs> Rhino Meister did a two-year subject. Which faction for first Vampire Curse campaign? Dude, why are you always asking me these these really personal questions? I'm just kidding. I'm just having a go at you because of the super chat from last time. Um, <laughs> which faction for the first Vampire Curse campaign? Go Noctilus. Noctilus all the way. Definitely my favorite. Um, avoid Aranessa. Alright, I've got some more... another corn one. So we've we've got this one, that's a good one for money, which we always need. Blood Greed for all units with the mark of corn. That's not terrible. We don't have that much dedication to corn yet. And there's a whole bunch of like, good units that we can get. I much prefer like the passive bonus for the moment. Character experience per turn plus 100 all characters. So that's not just undivided ones apparently. Or blood greed 
Yeah, this will be good for, um, what's her face? Um, you know, Conehead, Valkyrie, when she has to go fight. Yeah, yeah, okay, go do that. Then, in this Nurgle one here, enable replenishment in foreign territory is really good. So is that. That's really good in the earlier stage of the campaign, but don't need that now. Missile resistance for marks of Nurgle units is good. Melee defense for armies led by Nurgle devoted characters. That's Nurgle's got some good shit in Warriors of Chaos. They have got some good shit. I think I might get this. Alright. So the reason why I'm not trading with these guys just yet is because I need to get this settlement off them and I might need to cancel their vassalization. And also the amount of trade income would not be very much. Most of my money comes from pounding people into the dirt. Reichland now wants peace, but I'm in a good position to keep fighting Reichland, so no peace. Just war. Alright, I did say that maybe we should put in some extra... Yeah, let's just recruit whatever's available here for now. Uh, yeah, good to have a wizard in both of these settlements. Just, just in case we get attacked again, and as a bit of a deterrent, because these settlements here can't defend themselves very well, and I have buttloads of money. I do like my metal wizards. Uh, I quite like Searing Doom in Warhammer 3. What can I say? Have you read the Nurgle rework blog? No, alright, let's let's go through the Nurgle rework blog. I don't usually like doing this during streams, however, Nurgle rework. Yeah, alright. Alright, let's have a look at this. I would probably would have preferred to make a video on it, but let's, let's just have a quick look over it. No! Alright, let's have a quick look. I'll zoom in so that you guys can see if you want to... Nokia. Brick phone. Okay, so let's let's just skip over blah blah blah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just get to it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tell me about the rework. I'll I'll go over all this stuff out later. I just want to look at the rework. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh looks good. All looks good. Noble legacy updates. Okay, before we wrap up it. Uh, the Grim Tale of Tamrica and all things Nogu. We want to address something that is important to both us and you, our players. We've taken in lots of your feedback from prior DLC regarding legacy race updates, and we're committed to making the rejuvenation of those races core mechanics a key element within the re uh, release of Thrones of Decay. With that in mind, here's what we've cooked to enhance Nurgle as a whole for the Grandfather's Lord, blah, 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 blah. Plagues. Plagues? That looks better. Immediately, that's not just Grom the Paunch rework. Reskinned. That... I, I don't even... That just looks better. Okay, hang on. Plagues have been completely reworked from the ground up, impacting Kugath, Plague Father, Festus, and Tamra Khan. Here's a sneak peek of the new Plague system. That looks better. Instantly, so much better. Okay. Uh, the problem with the original system for Plagues is that it was shit is that it was completely, completely solvable. As a player, there was an objectively strongest route to take and no need to deviate from it to maximize the benefits and minimize the drawbacks. Yeah, obviously. This took away from the Nurgle fantasy of experimenting with disgusting... You yeah, exactly. The old system was total shit. Anyway, uh, what are we changing? Plague symptoms now exist within a web with certain symptoms connected to each other, letting you combine three of them to create a plague. Just like last time? <laughs> All right. Uh, cyclic I'm just going to go over that. Helmut Gorse is going to wish he'd set up shop elsewhere. Mm, we'll see about that. Uh, Nurgle's unique cyclical buildings has led to some unique thematic gameplay strategies when it comes to recruitment, but we felt it had a negative impact on their economy and defensive capabilities. What are we changing? Military buildings are still cyclical, but all remaining buildings are now static, like the other factions in the game. Military buildings will now cost infections instead of treasury to help with managing the choice between improving infrastructure and recruiting forces. Interesting. That's interesting. I like that. 
Uh, we have done an economy pass on the buildings following this change to help with Nurgle's difficult financial situation, allowing players to choose treasury buildings rather than having their economy gain split between all change. chains. Okay. Resource buildings have had an effect overhaul. Which is... Cult buildings have undergone an effect pass. Which is... The remaining psychical buildings can now be rushed by spending infections. I like that. That's good. Recruitment. Uh, Nogle's unique recruitment is currently too punishing for the benefit of instant recruitment. What are we changing? Recruitment cost and recruitment health are now tied to Nogle corruption level of the province military. So 30% health at zero corruption, 60% health, and minus 50% recruit cost at 100 corruption. That's good. That's a, bo a boost. With the addition of Russian construction, cyclical buildings should help with filling up recruitment pools in the early game. Yeah, because in the early game, they're terrible. Nurgle. Uh, technology tree. Nurgle's technology tree is lacking a clear direction and was designed too heavily around Kugas' Realm of Chaos experience. And it, it was rubbish. It was like, some of the technologies were just like, Oh, plus one extra growth on a Tuesday in this particular climate. They were all just low-impact trash. What are we changing? Nogal's technology tree is now split into two distinct groups. One focused on military, the other focused on campaign faction bonuses. The land has also been reworked to make it clearer and easier to progress to the technology tree. This all sounds great. Army abilities. Uh, previously, Nogal gained army abilities points based on the amount of damage taken. We felt that this didn't reward Nogal players enough and seemed like a consolation prize for losing units. Yeah, it's a loser stuff. Um, Nurgle now gains a passive income of army ability points for every enemy unit in the battle map that is currently being affected by a negative effect or debuff. That's interesting. So, play, uh, poison could count. This plays into Nurgle's playstyle of spreading debuffs and contact effects and makes them even more desirable for both campaign battles. Okay, that's better. That's much better. Uh, we're confident these changes are going to enhance the Nurgle experience. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, maybe. Okay, I'm pretty happy with what I read there. Okay. I have no complaints. That sounds good. Avert your eyes. I got no complaints. That all sounds good. How it actually comes onto the, onto the campaign map, we'll see. But it all reads pretty well. Oh, yeah, you were supposed to go into that army. Well, there'll be still room for you. Then again, you're best in an army that's filled with demons, but I can't fill an army full of demons. I guess I could maybe put some. They don't have to all just be one unit spams. I guess I could put six pink horrors in there. I can't get Exalted Pink Horrors, can I? Let me just check. I, oh, I don't have a... Hang on, let me just check. War unceasing. Can I get Exalted Pink Horrors, or does that only happen for Bellacore? Yeah, that only happens for Bellacore. I can't upgrade them. Alright, are we done? Midland, land, yeah, just leave that. Okay, I think we're done here for this turn. Let's move on. Scar Talon, subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude, appreciate that. Can't you upgrade them with the Warband mechanic? I don't think so, they weren't listed. I totally sold those Norskins out to dry that. Oh, they're, they're coming in. They want to make the attack. Now, the thing is, if you use Lightning Strike on me, what's the point of bringing in the... Oh, yeah, of course you want to go after him. Are you going to use Lightning Strike? No. I guess he doesn't have it. All right, it says Valiant Defeat. Didn't bring in the other army. Doesn't seem to be any benefit in not controlling large army. We just need to make sure that Bellacore comes on the battlefield quickly, which that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, that is a problem for a mostly melee army, but I think we'll be fine.
If I steal a spellcaster as dwarfs, can I use magic? I actually don't know. It's a good question. Um, Henexiker, subscribe with Prime on Twitch. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Did anything in the DLC reveal correlate to the leaks you've been received? Most of the stuff did. Yeah, most of the stuff did. There are a few things that were a little bit off. Just a little bit. One or two things. Um, Leslie's skirt. Subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Alright. I need to get close to Bellacore. There's no way he'll be able to stop me from bringing Bellacore in. He'll probably wait for his reinforcements first anyway. Alright, Bellacore comes in and just Bellacore's all over them. I've got a lot of mobility in this army. Okay, there we go. Are you personally interested in World War One, Total War? Um, look, I've said this loads of times before, I don't care about the setting. And I mean it. You can make it Stone Age Total War, World War One Total War, Medieval 3, Pharaoh. I don't care about the setting. I care about the gameplay. So, if the gameplay is good, I'm down. From Legend, you didn't get Pharaoh. Yeah, and neither did you. <laughs> Come then. Wings. Ah, you're making me so happy. All right. Malekith, are you a good fighter? Not as good as Bellacore. Oh, that's some debuffs. Alright, we're still taking decent amount of damage because of the... Dark shards though. So try to position ourselves in such a way that we're gonna take a little bit less damage. Very nice. Oh shit, Supre Supreme Spell Shield saps away at my magic. Shit. At my actual reserves. Mm. Why can't you just let me have a fair fight with Malekith? Something in the chat to stop people asking the same question. I have looked at the Nurgle blog. Come on, stupid thing. 
Who at YouTube thought it would be a good idea to put those fucking things there? There we go, it's better. And pin that message. Okay, there we go. Is that doing any damage? Uh, do it a little bit, because it is magical. The other ones are physical, so even though this one's here better against infantry, and it's only going to take one hit to kill it, so let's go for that sort of Are Medusa's good now? Medusa's are very good, yeah. But Bellacor just killed one so easily. There's flying and fighting on top of... Sorry, there's flying and fighting on top of... Of the applies the debuffs to the flyers as well. You have to give that one another go, dude. Is Festus going to get a giant stack? Yeah, giant stack of giants. Yep. Feel the power. Man, Bellacourt is a one-man doom stack. Oh shit, what happened over here? Marana, oh, this guy decided that he wanted to die, and so he came over- Oh shit, what happened to you? Shit! I wasn't paying enough attention over here. Too much attention over here. Bellacorn. God damn, that was close. Should be close to victory by now, though. Harbinger. Yeah, come on, kill him. Good. Should be army losses any moment now. Thing. He's not even trying to attack. Oh well, Amarora gets killed. I'm surprised the army losses haven't triggered yet. There we go. 
Right, I think we killed pretty much every hero in that battle. So that really hurts Malekith a lot. Melkor, best one-man doomstack? No, I think the best one-man doomstack in the game that you can potentially make is... I think... Xiaoming. You know, give him the best of everything. Versus anyone else? Not Malice? No, I'd have to say that Xiao Ming is better. Because Malice, while he does have two um, pools of health, so does Xiao Ming. Xiao Ming is able to fly at will by just turning into a dragon. He's also a spellcaster. Where Malice is not. He's got regen by default. So you don't need to give him a regen item. Because the thing is with Malice Darkblade, right? In order to give him regen, you need to either get the Curse of Cannibalism or have his Warp Sword of Cain. If you've got the Warp Sword of Cain, you don't have the Sword of Cain. You can get both of those characters to maximum ward save. So I'm going to say Xiao Ming. Miao Ying, no. Miao, Ying, Miao Ying is good, but Xiao Ming is better because he's able to use regen in his skill tree, whereas Miao Ying has to heal with magic. Or use the... Um, the Von Karstein Blade. Yuanbo? Yuanbo doesn't heal by by default. That's why I said Xiao Ming. Any of the Cathay Dragons are definitely top contenders, but of the three, I'd have to say that Xiao Ming is the best one-man Doomstack. Yuanbo also has the worst magic out of the three. Say dragons are available all three positions. Yeah, they're all three at the top, for sure. Ooh, Boris, you're gonna get bushed. Oh, come on, man. Ah, well, I do have a pretty basic army. <laughs> Pure victory, really? What about village? Village is good. Not the top. Even if Yuanbo is a high ceiling for execute. So look, Yuanbo, definitely a top contender, but I gave you my opinion. Regen and ward save is the most important thing. And both the characters have ward save, but Zhao Ming is the one that has regen. Xander Ludwig did a $5 super chat. Would you play a Total War game centered around Australia versus Emus? Probably not. That doesn't sound very good. Stupid question, by the way. Thanks, Super Chat, though. <laughs> hmm. Why does it say. I 
So like if we if we get in there on those handgunners, what have you got? You got purple sun. Brothers in decay. Probably best we don't blob up too much. Hmm. Well, I guess we will see. Now, if you're getting ambushed by Nurgle, as if you didn't smell them coming. Okay, that's a bit of a problem, if Toddy's going to do that. Damage isn't so bad, it just got low morale or something, for some reason, don't know why. Gotta cut him off. See here, the Demigriff Knights aren't doing that well. Boris is very strong though, gotta give him that. That's probably why it was like, yeah, you can't really kill Boris very easily. Scary boys. What's the terror out of there? Can heal them a little bit using the passive for Nogal magic. Someone up here to annoy this one if we can. going after my poor dude here. Good thing he can heal a little bit. The army losses? No. It's just his army falling apart, that's all.
Okay, definitely don't want them running away, but just get the infantry out of there because they're blowing up too much. That's not going to work. They're running them down. Let the doggos do it. Just keep casting spells to get this guy the meager amount of healing we can. Overall, good battle. A little bit of damage, but easily recoverable. Much better than what Auto Resolve, Resolve said it would be. Much better. And every bit of experience helps to make these guys better, so they're not so shit next time. Tiny little bit of healing. Not really worth sitting around. Oh, hang on. Yeah, don't let that get away. Do you think Nurgle should be able to revive units mid-battle like undead factions can? No. No. No, I don't think so. No, the point of Nurgle is not that they are unkillable, or that they... Uh, yeah, the, the, Nurgle's all about being really durable, but when they're dead, they're dead for good. Whereas the vampires and undead are usually not very durable, like the undead units, but they can come back very easily. Still haven't got this to full stack yet. Just not enough marauders in this area. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Subscribed at tier 1. They've subscribed for 2 months. Thanks dude, appreciate that. Hope everything is doing well. They are doing very well. Hope everything is well for you as well. Okay, so... Yeah, I just couldn't kill the heroes. Rhino Master did a two Euro Super Chat. Which is your personal favorite giant Doom stack? Probably with Festus. Thanks, Super Chat. Appreciate it. If I wanted to do my first legendary campaign, what would be my first what would be a good lord to start with? You should always play a faction that you enjoy, but if you're looking for something easy, I'd recommend Tyrion. It's a good good uh, starter campaign for legendary difficulty. Bogman de Fardol Super Chat. What's your favorite fact about Great Emu War of 1932? Stupid question, by the way. That is a stupid question, indeed. I don't really know that much about it, but thanks for Super Chat. Uh, no military lines, because I need to declare war on you. Did you play the Tide game Vermintide 2? Uh, yes, I have played it. It's alright, I like it, but sort of played it enough, so I don't play it anymore. We put all three legendary heroes in one army. No, they don't really complement each other very well. And you could do it. I'm just not going to do that. Victorio became a member for 57 months. Hi, Legend. How's it going? Going well. Thanks for uh, the membership. Appreciate it, dude. 57 months. That's a really long time. I feel like I can catch that one. Cool. 
Du. Yeah, they nearly fully replenished on that. And you got yourself Boris, Todd Bringer's defeat trait. Oh, wait, he doesn't get one. <laughs> Let's have a look here. What do you need? Probably root march to dominating presence and make your units a little bit stronger. Good. With extra chaos corruption here, probably allowed for more units to show up. Yeah, it shook me of a little bit of movement. Okay, if we're going to get Eckhold Hellbrass, we should do it this turn. We're not at full strength, but it is good enough. Alright, so... Let's go do that. Do you like PewDiePie? I do like PewDiePie. I haven't actually watched his stuff in a very long time. But I've I've been a fan of his for a very long time. Legend and Major Kill Vermintide stream was a good time. Yeah, it was a good time, but you know, Major Kill moved on from Warhammer Fantasy. Understandably so. And I just sort of lost interest in Vermintide as a game. Not, not because it was a bad game, just because it's lost interest. It's Sir Sandor Clegane. He's no sir. <laughs> Alright, I'd say let's go after... Uh, no, full of anti-large there. These are anti-infantry. All right, we'll go for this. And we'll hit him in the rear. Surprise! Straight in. They got some pretty dangerous units there, though. Yeah, uh, Gorgon, not really the kind of unit you want to fight with Chaos Knights. Personally, I think that that is a bad matchup, so. Maybe Archeon, you should go kill that. Runner Master did a two euro super chat. When is the next Major Kill collab coming? Probably. Look, I, d I don't know. I don't know. I haven't spoken to Major Kill in a while. Um, probably when Total War Warmer 40k comes out. I imagine we'll do a collab then. Until then, it doesn't really make much sense to do one now. It's not going to benefit either of us. Okay, get a better idea. Go take out that one there, because that Gorgon just doesn't want to fight us. Where'd that Gorgon go? Oh, is that it there? Bloody glory. 
time to destroy all Okay, we well, got these guys here completely surrounded. Blood for the blood god. Where is he? I don't think there's much point cycle charging against um, giants. Charging into them just doesn't do that much. Just keep them pinned down, and I'll have Archeon and this one here sort of map. He sort of had the Gorgon really easily. There we go, army losses. And a little bit of damage is fine because he's not going to fight another battle this turn. This is a really good opportunity to do a quest battle. Now I've got to decide where to put. Um, Eckhold. He should go into a Zinch focused army. Maybe he can go into that other one that I'm working on. Although, he's really good with single entities because of his healing ability. Maybe I could put him into an army with Zinch single entities. Which, I'm not going to make an army of Zinch melee characters. I don't know. That's Quitter Talk Legend, I'm sure you can cycle to It wasn't Quitter Talk, I just didn't think there was much point in doing it since we had, were like five seconds away from winning. It's just effort for no reason. That's what I meant. I'm thinking Quitter. Quitter would have been like, oh no, I need to retreat because I can't win. Yeah, let's go with that. They called hell us. Right. Yeah, he can't be. There's no point attaching they him to that army because he just he won't be able to keep up with us. Just be pointless. He's got a long way to go to catch up to the other guys though, but that's fine. I go with intent. That's fine. Whoops. Okay. Almost at Karaburg. Now is chaos! Mm, Dragon Ogre's here. How'd they show up here? In mountain climb. Oh, right. Mountain climate, that's why. There's a giant here as well. Okay. Dominance. Well, I don't have enough movement to get to Arnau, but I'll get there next turn. Onward to destruction! Despoil and ravage! Ooh, Branson. If he wants to capture Marienburg, that's fine, because I can't make use of it anyway. But, Gorsal, that's mine. Ready. Hmm. No what do you think CA will update for Empire and Dwarf? Or information from leak early access stuff, at least? I don't have any leaks on any of that stuff. Absolutely none. So I have no idea what they're going to do with that. You know what I might do? Once I've... Once I've captured Arnau, I'm going to recruit a new Zinch Lord, put the Chaos Knight in there, and I think what I'll do is make it a melee knight, melee Lord of Zinch, and actually put the Blue Scribes in that army, maybe. But yeah, do that at Arnau, and then he'll need to go back up into the Chaos Waste and pick up a whole bunch of knights. There should be somewhere around that way. But it'll take him a while. I missed the teleports from thingy. Alright, we need to... We need to stop this guy. Kill them all. Will I have early access? No. I don't like early access. So, no. I have done away with that for the time being. Valkyrie the bloody. Good, they're getting experience. Yeah, go. Yeah, go that way. On the war path. You should be fine to force march this turn. Cease. Should be fine. 
Now, we haven't completely dealt with the Hung War Band, but maybe I could peace out with them. Let me just see. What's yeah, they want arrival. peace. My warhounds haven't eaten in days. Mm. There's a ruin over here that I don't know who I could give that to. Probably, probably them. Yeah, I can't let them. I can't let a rogue army just run around in my territory, even if they are sort of chaos focused. Can't let it happen. So you come over, yeah, there he is. And then the last chaos troll has been upgraded. I, I really like chaos trolls armies. <laughs> I never, never thought I'd say that in Warhammer Two, which I didn't say in Warhammer Two, but in Warhammer Three they're good. I refuse. You excited for Bile Trolls? Yeah, the Bile Trolls could be a game changer for um, Warriors of Chaos. Could be. Alright, Siggy. I think this area here is a little bit too concentrated for an army that's just not quite ready to deal with this you stuff. Dare. But I think you'll be fine to come over here and take Kappelberg. Moving farther. And we got a couple extra warrior, uh, Chaos Warriors here, so that's good. Chuck them in. I want to get Karaberg. Hmm. Yes, yeah, in range of these armies here, these these ones here are really starting to get out there. It's especially Sandor Clegane. Kind of a joke going on with him. Blessed be the putrid. Oh, we break up. I want you to go somewhere and pick up some more Nurgle units. There's a couple of them over there, but not Chaos Warriors. Um, I just want you to go find easy battles to get leveled up. I think these two armies here complement each other reasonably well. Don't know what to do with him. Guess I could sack Karaberg and just be worth. Oh, let look at all that um, garrison there. That'd be worth a lot of experience. Okay. Then again, I probably won't even be able to order resolve it. <laughs> uh, the heavy, you know, the heavy metal accountant did a twenty dollar super chat. Morning from Canada, brother. Just wanted to say I think you're a rock star. And you're going to be an incredible father. Side note, did you notice the dwarf helicopters looking like they were launching lava in Thrones of Decay trailer? Alright, thanks for Super Chat, dude. Appreciate it. Um, I'm glad you think I'm going to be a good dad. I think that's pretty important. <laughs> um, I did not notice that, no. I, look, I, I only watched the trailer once. I was like, yeah, it's a cool trailer, but I don't care that much about trailers. So I'll wait until actual gameplay comes out. Avert your eyes. Why is Karaberg so important? Pastures, really good for Warriors of Chaos. Really, really good. All right, do we have, there's a few extra units here we can put in. Defend these territories. Let us corrupt. The Dark Prince wishes. Hmm. Destruction for all. All shall fester. Uh, let's just see. If it's it's no good, I maybe won't fight it. Let's just see. Yeah, I don't want to stay too close because there's a big army there. The, this one here just isn't quite ready to take on hard stuff. Okay, if no units are getting wiped out, then that is fine. And we'll just sack that this turn. That way we get a bit of ex extra experience. No. All right. I need to force march you back to here within Archaeon's sphere of influence, or else you're gonna be in trouble. Spread ruin on them. Yes. Ooh. Okay. Cool. 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 Well, that should have been worth it a decent amount of experience for them, so that's good. That's all we need right now. We just gotta get these guys leveled up. 
artifacts. Good, that'll make him stronger. Cardo Rodriguez did a five dollar super chat. KK, I am fascinated. Why do you have a Warhound crap stack? Is that actually an army you can boost, or are you memeing? Um, I'm not memeing actually. That is an army we can boost. Pastures. That army's won us some pretty good battles. It's cheap. Look, I had a whole bunch of Warhounds at the beginning of the campaign. Look how much experience they've got. You know? I've never lost a battle in this campaign, so... Yeah, they're, they're pretty good. You can really... If you're good at the game, which, you know... I'm okay. <laughs> you can you can do a lot with speedy units, even if they are got low stats. Alright. I think we just... Just occupy this. Oh, maybe if I can bring back Yusak, that might be better. No, Yusak. If no one gets killed, fine. fine. Alright. Yeah, I don't care that much about souls, because that's easy to get more of. And then I've got to get over here to vassalize them before they get wrecked. Alright, that, that looks like that should be fine for them. Yeah, maybe I'll feed them territory into here. Into territory that, like, obviously I want Nangal, but there are other settlements out here that are major settlements that are not dark fortresses that they would be. It would be good for them to have. Then as soon as I've dealt with this, we need to go and sort out village. Occupy that. I really just occupy everything, I suppose, and then confederate him. Are you aspiring champion? Sorry, are aspiring champions still bad? I saw you had an army of them. No, no, they're really good now. They've been good for ages. Really good. You can boost them by tons in the tech tree. Madness. No. I actually could catch this guy this turn. I know how I could do it. I could use a movement bug. Which will work in this instance. Alright, and then we've got these armies here. Belacor. Well, we should say the time. remnants of these armies. Let us corrupt. So I'm pretty sure he wants I peace now, isn't it? Yeah, he wants peace. Ability to forgive. War loss is 25. Yeah, that's that's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. Hmm. Thing is, I need to connect the territory down over here. So. Torment. Next stop would be Temple of Cain. Venture forth. Or Shoktak Mount. Because, yeah, I need to get to Hag Grief. You may we should wipe out these armies the here before they it. recover. No. I can split my forces up here. There's, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he doesn't have enough to do anything about it. You're on that mount. That's fine for order resolve, but you need to get off it. Did you get Azazel? Did he get killed off? Like what happens every time I play Warriors of Chaos? He's still alive. I'm on my way to go and get him now. No, that doesn't belong to you. I should go on to um, Bellicor, I think. Are you a god? By the Eldritch, I see. Oh, jeez, you got a lot of stuff. That's not that important. Okay, get... We've got two... Oh, I've got a banner of swiftness on him. Okay. New abilities. Time to attack. Raki, subscribe with Prime. Such Thanks, dude. Insolence. Appreciate the support. I reckon the medium casualties is because these guys are going to take damage. I don't think I'm going to take damage here. There is no escape from the Dark Master. A little bit, but that's fine. Let them go. God Maker. Hmm. Which 
way to go. Yeah, we'll both swing around this way. Let's be about this. Lord of Shadows. Yeah, you'll be fine to force march. Follow and meet up at the Temple of Cain. Oh, are you going to go and take it? That's fine, because I was going to give it to you anyway. Tremble before the witch. Yeah, that's fine. Dan the Canadian did a five dollar super chat. Hey Legend, are you able to break down really quickly how Bellacor is so tanky when you got a few seconds? All right, thanks for super chat, dude. Man, the Canadians are coming out in force today. Um, Master. Well, he's just got a lot of resistance, like fifty percent missile resistance, because he's got Armor of Destiny, Blade of Shadows, which doesn't provide any resistance, Talisman of Preservation. He's got the Crown of Everlasting Conquest, which provides replenishment, a regeneration. Um, He's a demon, so he's got natural physical resistance. He's got... Aura of Chaos, so extra missile resistance. It's just got just lots of resistance, that's all. Like, a lot of characters can get this good. It's just that, yeah, he's he's there already. In terms of his traits, he doesn't really have anything that... He has defeated Alariel, though. Um, there's nothing that interesting in here. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. He's just really strong. Alright, it would be good to get that. So let's go... I'll actually get earthing because sometimes I do overcast. More power. What kind of army do you intend to give good old Bellacor? Honestly, he doesn't have a very good army potential um, when playing in Warriors of um, um, Archaon's faction because he benefits from an entire army of demons, but I can only put six of them in his army. So, I don't really know what I'm going to do with Bellacor right now. I'm just going to give him whatever units available and just hand it off to other armies. Since I mainly just use him as a one-man Dooms deck anyway. So, we'll see. Alright. This guy was going in this direction, wasn't he? Yeah. 11% chance of another one next turn. Check to see where another one might be. Hmm. Could be difficult to find another giant. <laughs> Uh-oh. How am I supposed to find more giants? Well, I know there's a giant down here. Hmm. There should be a bunch more popping up soon, because there's a whole bunch constructing. Don't giants only spawn in mountains? No. Okay, so you can actually spawn them in any province that's a, um, a dark fortress from... This building here provides local warband unit capacity, Chaos Giant. So if we go to here, yeah, you can eventually get um, Chaos Giant showing up. It's just, they've only got like a 11% chance of showing up. So over time, they show up all over the place. It's a lot easier for Bellicor to do it because of his uh, teleportic mechanic. Trying some more mountain areas. I'm, I'm aware of that. I'm aware of that. We don't have that many mountain areas. And the mountain areas that I am looking around, I'm not seeing them. So there's no giant there. So, I mean, you tell me, where should I be looking? And I'll go have a look. Alright, I think we just got Rotten Altar. Hmm. Virulent Blessings would give our guys regen, the um, aspiring champion, so that'd be good. Let's get that. The storm of chaos 
Is there a giant in Festus Fortress? No. Not currently. There will be eventually. Especially because there actually should be two giants capacity here. Like if I recruit a lord just temporarily. Yeah, look, we can have a capacity for two. It's just that 9% chance. We need more undivided corruption to increase it a little bit more. I've Just gotta wait for it to show up. Let us corrupt. The spoilers come. By the outrage I see. So I need to pick up more Chaos Warriors. Okay, here we go. I don't need this one anymore. Let's take two of those. And turn them Zinch. Yep, cool. Giant in Wolfric spawn. Uh, we actually did have a look at that. That's actually not technically a giant area, uh, sorry, a mountainous area. There's also mountains here, but it's considered chaotic wasteland. If we have a look, no giant available there. Not yet. Okay, you just wait here. What are they doing? I want them to capture Blizzard Peak. That's what I've been... Well, at least blow it up. Ready. Blue scribes get their movement. Yes. Nothing I need to do there, I think. Speak. Dark Overlord. Yep, okay, all good, and let's move on. I'm actually spending 200 souls more than I am gaining passively at the moment, but that's fine, because if I fight like one battle, I'll get those 200 souls. Guys, this Shadows of Change worth 16.5 euros. Ooh, I'm pretty sure you can get it cheaper than that, but that's questionable. Um, some people will say yes, some people will say no. It's really something you have to make a decision on yourself. And I understand that that's hard. It's so much easier for other people to make decisions for you. But when the quality of the content is so borderline, again, you, you, you just can't ask other people because they might lead you to a decision that you might not like. Uh, Sturm Sev, uh, eight, no, seven, subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude, appreciate that. Um, also, sorry, always good to work with your streams on. Stay awesome. All right, thanks, dude, appreciate that. Um, Sturgeon Stinky, sorry, Surgeon Stinky, did subscribe, subs oh my god, words. Subscribe with Prime, and they subscribe for two months. Thanks, dude, appreciate that. Got some of the names on Twitch. As soon as I read them, it just puts my tongue in a complete tie. Okay, how about we do a poll? How about we do a poll about the, um, is Shadows of Change worth it now? Is Shadows of Change worth a buy now? Yes, no, and uh, only at big discount. So, let the chat give you some indication of what they think. And then you can make a decision based on that. 10k holy. Yeah, it's a lot, but they'll, he'll still offer that. I, I need to connect up my territory. The peace treaty with him wouldn't be good. Everyone's going to vote for no? 7% mm, voted no, so you're wrong there. 
Blow it up. Don't just sack it. Blow it up. Do it. All right. They've finally done what I wanted them to do. Now it's time to deal with them. Of course, my guy's not here yet. So we got 41% say yes, it's worth it. 7% say no, it's not worth it. And 52% only at a big discount. Gerald subscribed to Prime. They've subscribed for two months. Currently on a one month streak. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Cheers, mate. All right, dude. I think we need to buy it in order to confirm, to affirm to CA that this is a good decision. Yeah, okay, yeah, look. Yeah, all right, okay. <laughs> look, I understand where you're coming from with this, but that's not really how, how to get shit done with Creative Assembly. Um, you know, I've been around a long time, and again, I, I want I want Total War Warhammer to continue, right? I don't want it to end, at least not until something better comes along. Um, if you just go shut up and take my money attitude with Creative Assembly, they will rest on their laurels and produce garbage. You cannot um, underestimate how lazy they are willing to be, the the executives that is, and how much of a cash grab they're like they do. If you do that, you might get Warhammer 3 extended, but you're going to get more Shadows of Change style DLCs. You're going to have $35 race pack deals, uh, $35, yeah, race pack DLCs that have only half the content and then there'll be more Lord packs to go with it as well. Basically, they'll, they'll nickel and dime you as much as they possibly can because you have told them that you are willing to be a gullible wallet in exchange for them just continuing this product, okay? What I think needs to happen is for us to communicate to Creative Assembly, we do want this game to continue, but the price has to match the content. Okay? So they have to do a good job. Now, it looks at this stage that Thrones of Decay much better than, than Shadows of Change. And if that's the case, hopefully that translates into more money for them. So what we want to see here is an increase in quality, which should equate also to an increase in units sold. That is the that is the best decision, but we should never buy something blindly uh, just because we're trying to support a poor family business. Never do that. Alright, let's have a look here. No, we don't need that. Don't need that. Um... Might as well grab those. That wasn't a particularly good one. They are British, they're lazy by default. And that's fine, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that inherently. Like I said, what we've got currently going on with Creative Assembly is, I believe, a good balance of things. Like, they need to make money, so you can't expect them to be a charity. But at the same time, you've got to let them know that you're not going to put up with their bullshit of 2022 and 2023 and prior. So, just... You know, buy it if it's good. Don't buy it if it's bad. Even if that means the end of Warhammer. Because honestly, I don't think it's worth continuing this game if they're going to do a bad job of it. They need to do a good job of it. Uh, f f uh P Peerless? Subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. Captain Clue 93 subscribe with Prime as well. Thanks, guys. Appreciate that. Alright, I gotta get this guy over here. Looks like they will probably be able to attack us at the challenge stone. Not ever. It looks like his army is relatively basic. I can't attach him into this army. Slaughter the sheep. You know, I've got 19 units, and we've got 18 there. If you could just... He's willing to give us a peace treaty. But I want to finish things off now. Um, get in over there. Okay. Uh... 
do we want to fight this? It, it depends on what he's got. I mean, it does look like he's recruiting fairly basic units, because his army did get wiped at one point. So he probably doesn't have that many dragon ogres. But we don't have a very good... Hang on, why don't we do this? If yes. I just get a little bit closer. Moving up. Gives us a better picture of the units that are there. What have we got in here? Yeah, it's not like our units are useless. We've got some stuff in here. I reckon if they were to make an attack, we would be able to beat them. Yeah, I think I could win. Uh, okay. Yeah, lots of single entities make it difficult. Bring death. Alright, look, I got you loads of money. You stay out here, go into Ambush Dance, and I'll recruit in a Lord. Festus. Okay, Festus, you come here. That'll make a big difference. Because I'll I'll just respec him again afterwards, and getting the defeat trade for Kulik will help as well. Because uh, he's going to go into this army, but it's not ready for him just yet. Okay, got to look for some more giants. See where they've been spawned. Because they can spawn pretty much anywhere out here now. But we just gotta check where they actually are. Uh, Rhino Master did two super chat. Which legendary Lord for Warhammer 3 could you beat up? Nice try, dude. Thanks, super chat. There's nothing out here. Nothing out here either. Forward unto slaughter! What? Alright, let's have a look here. Herald of Doom. We don't have any dragon ogres or shaggers, so that's not really worth it right now. We were heading towards here, weren't we? So let's grab, let's grab that one. Alright, Archeon's at full strength now. Um, Axiom Exotic, wow, I haven't seen you in ages, dude. Uh, member for th 53 months, which legendary lord is the most freaky in bed, and would you be down for some of that action? Most freaky in bed, probably... I don't know if I should answer that. Um, probably Marathi, and probably not. Never. I am the chosen of the gods. Do they have anyone in Otov? Yeah, they do. Carl Franz. No. Not likely. Syrians are guides. Do not take me for a fool. I, de I definitely won't be able to order resolve that. I'd be very surprised. Level 46 car friends. Still, RKO and should still beat the crap out of him. Got other reinforcements here I could bring in. Maybe we'll have Sandor Clegane. Yes, it is so. uh, maybe blow that up this time. Alright, send him in. Destroy. Oh, what the fuck? I can't believe we can order us over that. Jeez. Do you think that CA is looking to do World War One to try hammer out platoon mechanics before doing 40k? Really don't know. Don't know. Um, I definitely think that they're that both uh, 40k and World War One are going to be on the same engine. They're likely... W one is probably a clone of the other. I I'm just not entirely sure. Um, 
I heard a rumor a long time ago that it was Unreal Engine 5, but I've also been told that it's not Unreal Engine 5 and never was going to be. So that rumor was probably um, based on nothing. Hard to say. Kill them all. Oh, come on. <laughs> Sand Orca game. You can. Is this a minor settlement battle? I think it is. God, all I can do is r rush in there and it'll be easy. It's so bad in order resolve. Fine, well, it won't take long because I'll just rush in. Is 40k confirmed? Not officially. Unofficially confirmed? Um, like, I've got a couple of sources. I'm, I'm never going to reveal my sources because otherwise I'll never get any more sources. <laughs> um, and also, that would just be screwing people over, which I don't like screwing people over. Ha as someone who has been screwed over before, doesn't feel that good. Anyway, um, all of my sources, some of them more reliable than others, have all said 40k is coming. As for when it's coming, can't say, because I've heard that's coming in 2027. I've also heard that it might be 2028. But the most recent information is that it's being pushed forward and is most likely 2026. Now, does that mean it's definitely going to be 2026? No. That just means the current plan is 2026. As far as I'm aware. Again, that information, it's hard to tell how accurate it is. I haven't seen any screenshots from 40k, so a lot of it is just going off trust. Now the thing is, you build trust, this, this is how you build trust with someone. They say something, and it either is true or it isn't true, and you find out over time. If it isn't true, you lose trust in that person. If it is true, you gain trust in that person. That's usually how it works, you know. Um, Axiom Exotic did a 100 SDK Superjet. When is the most goaded of emotes to Grundy coming back? I don't know, man. Probably not. We'll see. Thanks for the chat, though. Uh, rather geeky stuff today. 50 DKK Super Chat. Uh, when you reach critical mass power, i.e. when restum of the campaign is easy, how do you manage to keep interest in the campaign? Any tips? Dude, I usually quit my campaigns around turn 30, so I'm the wrong person to ask about that. This is... Lately, I've been doing my campaigns a little bit longer, but that's because I've been playing some of my favorites. If I was playing, say... Uh, Grom Brindle, I probably would have quit by now. Why is your game so laggy? Hmm, I feel like it's fine. Maybe it's just OBS. I got a few drop frames. Just one go there. Be better if Mora went. That went. Ravage them. So you use overwhelming numbers to counter their morale. They shouldn't have split up their army like this. It's very stupid of them to do that. If they wanted to beat me, the best bet is to actually hold a choke point and stop me from being able to flank them and stay together. Because they need their leadership bonuses from their lords, but the AI is set to um, try to hold on to everything. If you hold on to everything against a numerically superior army, even if they've got shit units, you're going to lose. Yeah, you get out of there. Uh, hang on. Raphael the Destroyer did 10 PLN Super Chat. Can't watch this time. Have a nice stream. Cheers. No worries, dude. Thank you for the Super Chat, and we'll see you next time. That's not favorable. Let's move out. Demon hood is mine. Destruction. Oh, fuck, he's immortal as well. Excellent. C 
see you next time. Oh, shit. I didn't even realize that. Nice. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah, that could be the... Uh... How about that? That's the new sign-off. See you next time. Oh, hey, have you seen that YouTuber? He's so family friendly. At the end of his video, he always says, See you next time. Do you know that stands for cunt, right? Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, C, then C, U, next N, T, time. <laughs> Honestly, though, I, I didn't stop saying C next time, fuckers, for the algorithm. I just did it because I just think it's off brand. I just don't like it anymore. It was, it was like a from a bygone era, I think, the whole um, edgy legend, and I just, um, I just, I'm just not that person anymore. I'm not the person who tries to deliberately tries to offend people. It's just not me anymore. There was absolutely no pressure whatsoever from anyone for me to stop saying that, even from Creative Assembly. That was not the thing that they ever gave me shit about. Feel too childish, really. Yeah, it was just, it was just, it was funny for a time. It was just not really that interesting anymore. Just now getting the clicking joke, FML. <laughs> yeah. You've never been offensive. Oh, I've been offensive. I'm not going to deny that. I missed your super chat. Sorry. Let's have a look. Bearded Freckle did a total super chat. What are our chances of getting Thankwall? I would say it's close to 100%. I don't think they're going to end Total Warhammer 3 without getting Thankwall. It likely, likely as, as the very last DLC. Likely. Whatever that last DLC is. <laughs> also, Rhino Master says, How many Skaven Slaves could you kill with equipment? I don't know, man. This many. If I occupied, I could end up getting killed by armies that are nearby. But... I'm gonna risk it. I don't think they're going to have any more armies after I take out Carl Franz here. I'm pretty sure they're on their last legs. Yeah. Celestial... Will we get Sigmar's return? I have no idea. Maybe. Yeah, that'll save a lot of time. It's a lot of souls. I think it's weird you sack Altdorf and you get a hundred experience, which is not much. <laughs> Do I think Altdorf should be a Dark Fortress? Yeah, I kind of do, yeah. Ruin in the plague father's name. Good. Cataclyst. 
Okay, cool. Cool, that was worth a decent amount of experience for him, so that's good to see. That's good spell. That one there took a lot of damage for some reason. Oh, maybe because it was the lowest experience. Maybe that had something to do with it. It's all good. How's our authority in this army? Hmm. Okay. Do you think Nurgle race rework will be substantial and make them more of a menace? Mm, depends on how it's been applied, but I don't think they're going to suddenly be as strong as Corn. But I think that they're they're definitely getting a boost. They're definitely getting a boost. All right, I do want to occupy this and hand it over to them. But it's not worth giving up the chase for this dude. We don't want him going into encamp even for a single turn. And what I can do now is just recruit a random lord, since there's no supply lines, to just go and um, sort that out. How about, yeah, you go do it. Ooh, force march over there. Yes, my ruinous powers! Valkyr the Bloody! Hmm. On the war path. Hmm. Okay, looks like next turn we can launch that attack as long as they don't bring another army in here. Won't it be funny if next turn he gets wiped out? But better not. The Gore Queen. And how fitting is it for Valkyrie to be the one to do it? Yeah, you'd be a wizard warrior. Okay. Hat woman. Hmm. Uh, what should we give her? She's already got most of her good stuff. Income from post battle loot will help a bit. But yeah, let's make her, um, her army a bit stronger. Then power. also, we want to make sure that these Marauders are upgraded. Very nice. Uh, do you know anything about the Nurgle rework, how it will change the race? I mean, only from what I read in the blog. Outside of that, I haven't played it. The other creators all have early access to it. But poor me, I don't. No, I don't want early access. Fuck that. Um... All right, that'll be the end of them. Bring them to ruin. And by end of them, I mean they're still going to exist, but they're going to be on my side now. All right, sack it first because I want that. Hail the slaughterer! Okay, Zatan the Black, now under my control. So we can potentially get units from him, but I'll have to give him a proper settlement. So I would give him Poe Mate, but there's Marble there, and I want that. So we don't want to give him Wage In, because for one thing, Spices, another thing, Dark Fortress. Uh, Dark Fortress there, so none of those settlements. Maybe the settlement over here, that's of no use to us, I think. We'll see when we get in there. First thing, though, when striking against village, it might be best if we go for the red fortress first. That'll give us a bit of time to recover our. Well, nothing that really matters. No, because then he could come around. Yeah, he could come around over here and screw up my um, allies. My vassals, I don't want him to do that. Alright, I didn't recruit anything in here for Festus. I probably didn't need that. That might be useful. Whoa. 
what is a doctor without instruments? If I recruit too many units, then they won't attack. These are not going to be very helpful in that coming fight. This, this might. And, yeah, get these. Can always just spend them later, because we got a good amount of paper. Is Nangao a fortress? Yep. Yep, Nangao's a dark fortress site. Alright, we've got Karaburg, and this is where we see some benefit. Physical resistance for Chaos Warhounds and Feral Manticore units. Okay, now we can upgrade that. You haven't moved yet. What's going on with you? I'll kill you next turn. Can Chaos Dwarf build recruitment buildings at Cathay Gates if you gift them? I don't think so. I think only Cathay can. Okay, so I wanted to get a melee Chaos Lord. Ooh, that would be better. One turn. Well, I can just tag him in next turn. And I wanted to take... this guy out and we can see here chaos. yeah we can devote him to zinch so we'll get a we'll get a chaos knight of zinch stack going now this army is going to go back up into the chaos waste to go find some more um, chaos knights while this guy here continues to look for aspiring champions which not going to find that many down here <laughs> but honestly what we've got here is sufficient for now Alright, all that looks good. Sigvold. Good, passively gaining experience there for those. My adoring walls agree. Unleash chaos! Yeah, and then you always do the warband upgrade after you've moved, not before, because otherwise you weirdly lose movement points. The army is getting stronger, looking good. Alright. Wish there was a resource out there that boosted chosen units. <laughs> Maybe just like, uh, I don't know, some resource. Leadership plus five for chosen. Oh, so useful. Leadership on a basically unbreakable unit. I know I'm getting upset about something that doesn't exist. Should be ward save for Chosen. Yeah, she went and took it. That's fine, I was gonna give it to her anyway. I am the first. The only. We shall weave the fates. My lord Sinch agrees. God maker. Stay close together. And for that they will pay. Spread the darkness. Behold my Yeah, if there's tradable resources, like for example, exotic animals, I want that for myself. Although I'm pretty fairly sure exotic animals are not that valuable. It's like maybe charge bonus plus five percent for knights. It's fine, whatever. Alright, I think we're done with the turn. Don't want to look at that. Let's move on. Yeah, it's a bit pointless. He's not getting those units. Okay, we should probably get to... Is it Speed of Malice? Or is it Freakish Mutations? Yeah, Freakish Mutations will make our guys even stronger. Our little Warhounds. I take more speed for for chosen over ward save. That's a good point actually. 
Yeah, you're not wrong. That's that's a good idea. Will he cover Tamekin block on an upload? Maybe, but it came out while I was live streaming. I'm not going to stop the live stream to go and deal with with that. Try Vassalize Malekith via Diplomacy. Last time I checked, it wasn't even close. Albert Tasimov did a BGN2 super chat. What are you calling cheese? I don't know. Thanks for the super chat. Random question. But you enjoy the Regiments of Renown as a mechanic, or do you think the game would be better without them? No, I think it's better with them. I don't think it's like a overly impactful mechanic um but i definitely think the game is better with them when are you doing multiplayer campaign with law master of sotek or milk and, milk and cookies probably never fuck those guys no i'm just kidding <laughs> Hi Legend, do you have a 40k faction you'd be excited to play in a 40k Total War? Yeah, I'd love to play as a Zerg. Yeah. I've always been a Zerg player. <laughs> Your pleases me. No, not yet. Oh wait, no, I can accept that now as long as I don't get that segment back. Don't you just love chasing rogue armies around forever? It's so fun. Oh my god! <laughs> I was one turn away! One turn! Do you know what the thing is? He can be revived. Okay, and do you know what the funny thing is as well? Uh, he, he is revived over here. And do you know what the funny thing is as well? Um... We've got the exact army that we need to revive him. Let's go over and fucking revive him. God damn it. Should I get rid of this army first? One fucking turn. Jeez, Katarin, you bloody... Couldn't wait. One more turn. Edon Berisha did a two-year super chat. What franchise you'd want to see as a Total War? Um, pff, Game of Thrones, I guess. Thanks, super chat. All right, Killing Village. Where is he going? I see the great sorcerer. Yeah, if he wants to go and sort that out, that's fine. That's not going to bother me. I okay. I know what to do. We need to go this way. All right, and also all of our heroes we need to make sure that we put points into spread fear because we now need to drop that public order down really quick but yeah this is the settlement that he comes back from which is really weird but that's where he comes back from i, I didn't set it up that way so all of these guys spread fear and this is going to make it super quick to bring him back and we'll have to sack the cinema into oblivion or else Azazel won't be able to capture it back. So, unlucky, but we're prepared. Like I said before, we, we could have taken Azazel earlier, but I, knew, I know he can come back, so it's fine. We've got a lot of champions here, exalted heroes, so it shouldn't take us too long to bring him back. I just gotta get over there. 
Yeah, slight change of plans, just a slight change. Alright, that, that should do it. And if, a, and if um, Village wants to go out here and do something... Village can't be revived though, so if he gains any territory, I gotta be careful. Hmm. Probably don't need this anymore. Well, I did tell them to go and do it, but if they're gonna do it instead, that's fine. Bring ruin. Hail the slaughterer! Invade! What? Oh, it must be a minor settlement battle. Well, I guess if we have to fight it, so be it. Is it possible to revive Skarsnik? Yes. I can't remember where though. Um, I'm pretty sure he's at uh, Mount Gunbad. That's where he comes back. Pretty sure Sigvold can just do this on his own. Oh, but then they won't gain much experience. Okay. So what I'm doing here is hiding these so they don't deploy out here. I'm just going and kept that point quite easily. Sorcerer of Slanish. As you can see, they left no one there, and we can take that spot and lower their their stats. They've left all their defenses out here. You guys should be fine to attack that. These guys here have the strongest defenses, so we're not going to attack where they're strongest, we're going to attack where they're weakest. Uh, that is supposed to go to Nurgle characters. Bug! <laughs> so, we got a bug there. Got a Slanesh guy with Virulent Contagion upgraded. My Nurgle characters only should be having that. Bring us soap. Warriors of Sermesh. Now is our time. As you desire. The dark brings and powers. Yeah, they had no defenses out this way, and we just capped that. So it's going to lower their leadership and their melee defense. They put all of their... Yeah, you don't attack them where they're strongest. You attack them where they're weakest. It's like... Tactics 101. Built in time. Dark Max 
Logic is mine to command. Sorcerer of Slanesh. Hey Legion, would you make it better whether they finally fixed the Warriors of Chaos Texas time around? They've actually fixed it. it, it we tested it out in this campaign. They've fixed it. They, it just wasn't in the patch notes. Yeah, it's weird what's going on these days. I've been noticing a bit of a pattern. I think Creative Assembly has got a massive hate boner for me. I think it's like ridiculous. Like they hate the seething hatred towards me. Because there's a lot of things that I've suggested that they've actually fixed. But they don't put it in the patch notes. And then there's other things that other YouTubers have fixed. And they're like, thanks Zerkovich for pointing this out. Thanks Lord Master of Sotek for pointing this out. And the stuff that I point out, they're like, we didn't fix anything. Like the Winds of Magic stuff. That's something I suggested years ago, literally. The, um, the Warriors of Chaos technology thing. I've been banging on about that for ages. They fixed it, but they didn't put it in the patch notes. I don't know. It's just weird. It's weird. It's like they don't want to acknowledge my existence at all, which, honestly, I'm fine with, but I'm just used to it with them. Passive aggressiveness. That is very CA, though. They're very passive aggressive. They don't just say they don't like you, they just, like, they ghost you. That's a bit paranoid. Uh, look, I've, I've been in the Total War community for a long time, and that is basically C uh, CA's modus operandi, is what they do. I know it seems a bit weird. Thing is, look, if it was only like one or two things over the course of the 10 or 11 years, I'd, I'd, I wouldn't even mention it. But like, this is, this is something that's been going on for like a decade. This isn't like a recent turn of events. This is like a decade's worth of don't acknowledge his existence sort of thing. And then they wonder why I got angry at them. I don't know. I mean, that was not the only reason to get angry at them. <laughs> That's for sure. Could have, could have also been a complete just accident. It's really hard to say. It's just that I notice a pattern of things. And you got to wonder after a while, when when does a coincidence stop being a coincidence and when does it start being a pattern? Because, like, they there are also other creators that they w will not acknowledge their existence whatsoever as well. Not just me. There's other ones. Tremble, mortals. And the thing is, I've been at meetings. Like, uh, round, they're called roundtable discussions. I've been at roundtable discussions where... Like, they treat certain creators differently to others. Like, they... Some creators, they just roll out the red carpet for, and they're like, Oh my god, this person's here, we'll answer all of that person's questions. And then there's other creators, and they just don't even acknowledge that they're even there. Unfortunately, I've been the latter of that category pretty much every single time. Um, it sucks. So the thing is, when you're in that situation, and you get completely ignored, just I just stopped attending. I was just like, I'm not going to attend. They just... Just pretend I'm not there. I'm not actually going to go there. So I stopped attending the meetings. Pointless. Slay every mortal. At last, carnage for chaos. Doesn't matter. Slanish expects suffering. At the end of the day, I don't need to be friends with Creative Assembly. So it's fine. Transgression and submission. So I want to ask you about your sources at CA. Did they mention about the next DLC, like which armies they're going to work on? Okay, so the next DLC after Thrones of Decay, um, I've got a list of the remaining DLCs for for Warhammer th uh, Warhammer Three, the, the last four. 
and I don't have details on those on those DLCs. I've just got the list of them. And I know what the last DLC is going to be. That's pretty much set in stone. Now, there might be more DLCs added or subtracted from this list. Hard to say because it's going to be... This is like a two-year plan. It might go to a three-year plan. might become a one-year plan. Things change. Um, you have 2,000 friends here? Exactly. You guys are all I need. <laughs> Don't need CA. Anyway. Um, with the names of the DLCs, you can infer roughly what's coming but there might be extras that I'm not aware of because like I said I don't have a full list of everything involved so when I say there's stuff coming for the ogres there might be more because creative assembly have never done a, a lord pack that's just one race so it might be ogres and slanesh but there was no mention of slanesh it could be ogres and corn it could be ogres and vampire counts I don't know and so like with the race pack, as an example, you get a, a good idea of what's coming, but I'm not going to mention what the race pack is just yet. I mean, I, I, I gave hints to it. <laughs> but I'm poor, I can't give you the funding. That's okay, I don't need funding. I just need friends. I don't have any friends. No, I got heaps of friends. Just not at CA. Actually, that's not entirely true. I do have friends at CA now. <laughs> they're, but they're sleeper agents. Not official. Drag us to the I can't. I can't name them publicly. Warriors of Slanesh. All will be hell. Warriors of Slanesh. Have you gone back to Warhammer 2 since Warhammer 3's release? How do the two compare? Do you think? Um, I have gone back to Warhammer oh, oh god uh, Warhammer 2 oh, hang on hang on that's a good question Warhammer 3 is way easier than Warhammer 2 uh, it uh, does seem to be geared towards noobs um, especially on easy difficulty like it's it's like redonkulously easy um, Warhammer 3 offers a bit more of a casual experience um, the AI is worse in Warhammer 3 than it is in Warhammer 2 the cheats are obviously dialed up in Warhammer 2 compared to 3. The quality of life improvements are better in Warhammer 3. And they're continuously getting even better. Um, but they're... It really does depend on your particular playstyles. Like, if you're, if you're a... If you're a legendary difficulty player, you might find that Warhammer 2 is actually more fun. Than Warhammer 3. Because it offers more of a challenge. Also, the AI is not as much of a bitch in Warhammer 3. In Warhammer 2, like, they'll actually engage your armies on fair fights, when Warhammer 3, they will run away from you. <laughs> They're gonna save Nippon for last. No sign of Nippon. Nippon Nippon's not coming, okay? Nippon's not coming. Araby? I didn't see Araby. You're gonna do a process of elimination, are you? That's fine. I'm not under NDA, so I can I can say this stuff. Warriors of Slanus! Items merging? Like items merging is good, but I barely ever do it in a campaign, so I wouldn't I wouldn't like play this game just for item merging. But some people love it and that's that's totally fine. So, oh yeah, here's another thing as well, right? On the previous topic, remember how people were saying I was being a bit paranoid about CA uh, never acknowledging me publicly? Well, here's the thing. I have personally helped them out with, with several bugs while I was in the creator program where they didn't know how to fix it. Um, and I've had people... And I, I've, I've basically figured out how to... Not figured out how to fix it, but how to replicate these bugs. I'll give you some examples. Um... In Total War Troy, in the in the early access period, um, I knew I wasn't going to cover Troy, but I had er early access to Troy. Um, I made I, like I did a, a sort of a tutorial on how to exploit certain situations in Troy, 
and had a like they sent me a thank you, but it was only privately, never publicly, right? Uh, fix them, help them fix that up. But I was never going to cover Troy. Another thing is that with the green skin update back in Warhammer 2, this is like 2020, there was a hidden supply bug with WAS, and they didn't know where these supply lines were coming from, and I, I identified that for them. Um, with the... So that they knew there was a hidden supply line bug, but they didn't know what was triggering it. It was the WAS. Every single WAR army was creating an extra supply line, and so they got rid of it before launch. Which that would have been a that would have been a really bad bug if that had gone in launch. Um, no public acknowledgement for that, of course not. Um, the uh, the Beastmen uh, towers, they knew about that bug's existence, but they didn't know how to replicate it. I figured out how to replicate it, and someone at CA said that they didn't know how to do it and that they found out how to do it thanks to my video did i did it was there any acknowledgement of course not so you know like i said it's a pattern of repeated behavior over a very long period of time now that being said i don't do any of this stuff for public acknowledgement i, I really don't don't care that much but when they publicly acknowledge other youtubers and not Sorry, they publicly acknowledge some YouTubers, but not others. What you get there is a double standard. And if you're creating a double standard, you will get resentment. And that's exactly what they've, they've bred. So they've got some creators that are uh, very um, grateful to Creative Assembly. And they've got other creators, like myself, that are incredibly resentful. Because there's been double standards. And it's their own fault. You know, they've been warned about this stuff multiple times. Driven by pain. But they just keep doing it. Nagash last? Maybe. Moon Empress coming? I don't know about Moon Empress. Yeah, there was also a Bretonia hidden supply line bug. There was a Warriors of Chaos hidden supply line bug. I kicked up a big stink about those two. And they got fixed. Um, that was the only thing I was able to to get fixed in the Immortal Empire's early access, out of many, many issues, most of which have now been solved, but it took a really long time. They must be really pissed at you, they're the biggest creator. Oh man, they are, they are so pissed at me. Absolutely. Because I, like, I've got messages that I could show you. I don't really want to want to reveal my messages though, where they took issue with a lot of the things that I said, especially during interviews. Um, like I would, I would have an interview with, because I did a few interviews between 2022, 2022 and 23, um, where I would talk about what it's like being in the creator program from my perspective. And rather than saying, Hey, we're so sorry that you felt this way. They basically said, you need to stop saying this or leave the creator program, which only proved what I was saying was correct. And I've got proof of it. I got proof of it in my in, in my messages. So Sounds like they have tried to replace you with favoring other creators. Yeah, but the thing is Creative Creative Assembly influencer management doesn't know how YouTube works. They they're clueless to how YouTube works, right? Um Like they're not YouTube savvy. They've got contacts at YouTube, so sometimes they will try to contact YouTube to get something taken down, maybe, but they don't know how the algorithm works at all. Um, yeah, I'm that. I'm, if I got some movement, I'll occupy it. So even if they try to get some other creator to be bigger than me, it wouldn't work, because that's not how a creator gets big, playing Total War. Like, no Total War YouTuber is ever going to be the number one Total War YouTuber by being a bootlicker. It's never going to happen. It's never, ever happened, and it's never going to happen. Now, that's not to say that a Total War YouTuber can't be the biggest Total War YouTuber and a bootlicker, but they won't become the biggest Total War YouTuber by being a bootlicker, <laughs> if that makes sense. Hey, Legend, do you think Clan Pestilence will get any changes? Maybe new plagues or something? Mm, I doubt it. There's no information about that at this stage. 
You also fixed the Tomb King's infinite ammo bug. Well, I didn't fix it. I just pointed it out. I'll be I'll be fair to them about that one. I knew about that in early access, and I didn't tell them. Okay. <laughs> I didn't tell them about that. Because I wanted to make a video on it. That being said, the Tomb King infinite ammo bug, I didn't think was a problem, because you could just decide not to do it. Whereas there were loads of other issues that were gameplay problems. The main one I was bringing up with Dark Hills. And don't forget that there was a huge amount of, not uproar, but um, huge amount of people complaining about the Dark Hills for a really long time. It's died down a lot now because they have mostly fixed the Dark Hills situation. Um, I still don't think Dark Hills are particularly popular. But I kicked up a big stink about Dark Hills and, and that was ignored completely. I am Slanesh's scion. Do you think CA is starting to move in a good direction? after repeated failures? Hard to say. In some ways, yes. In other ways, no. So I imagine that the leadership, in terms of how they develop their games, I think that they have finally realized that cheap shit sold at a premium price isn't going to work. People are just not that stupid to fall for it. Wipe them out. Now, who are these this could be a risk staying here. So close to Raika. Ah, oh, she's at war with a few people. Um, so I think that we can expect that the the quality of Total War products should improve over time. Uh, Zboss subscribed with Prime. Uh, this subscribed for two months. Thanks, do appreciate that. Um, Legend, haven't you been calling CA Cox for years? It's hardly surprising they did shut you out. I have never ever once called them a cuck. Never once. So what the hell are you talking about? Don't get me wrong. I call them out, but I've never called them a cuck. Because, as far as I'm aware, their wives are not cheating on them. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I've never, I've never called them a cuck. I've called them liars, and I got proof that they're liars. Definitely. But I've never called them cucks. I don't, usually don't call anyone a cock. Because, like, I don't know. Alright, where do I want Arkham to go? Probably go wherever their military... Yeah, there's Boros. I need you to take that out. Alright. You'll have to go this way. Uh, I didn't get any replenishment. Any chance you could go back to here? Yeah, just go to Karaberg there. I'll be able to reach him next turn anyway. And then you come right over here and just protect Altdorf until I can give it to someone. Talk is cheap. Let's board yeah. So I like look, here's the thing. It's everything everything has sort of worked out just fine in the end. Like, it sucks that that my personal relationship with Creative Assembly deteriorated so badly. That sucks. And, you know, I wish it didn't go down that way. I really do. But I would do everything that I've done a hundred times over if it got us to where we're getting now. So I have no regrets. I would have... I would, I would not change anything about how things ended up. If we are finally getting back on track... Um, I mean, I would have liked to have gotten there sooner. If there was anything that I could have done to make it happen sooner, I would have, I would wish I would do that. But I would get blacklisted a thousand times over if it means a better product is produced. Because I have never cared about my friendship with Creative Assembly. Never cared about it. Um, it's not important. It's just like, a, if I can make a benefit out of it, I'll try to, which I can't. <laughs> um, all I've ever cared about is the actual product itself, which is gone downhill, but hopefully we'll go back uphill now. And I think that's something that they don't really understand. That I just, I never had loyalty to Creative Assembly. Never once. They don't, they don't exactly inspire loyalty. <laughs> anyway, let's just move on from that. Alright. Alright, looks like they're trying to head to Pack Ice Bay, which. You need a boon. God, I could be chasing these guys forever. Yes, my ruinous powers. 
Yeah, this this um Nagel filings have been defeated. Oh, it's chaos. Hello, it's me again. Why are you so gay? Uh, just born this way. Can't do anything about it. <laughs> Straight to business. Like I said, I'm a gamer. G A Y M E R. Alright. So I need to give Grayling moot. Outstanding. Loyalty to the game, not the game. Not not to the company. Loyalty to the franchise, yeah. And I think that's that's like um it's it's hard for people to separate the two. Like a lot of people see Creative Assembly and Total War as the same thing. I don't see it as the same thing. They're separate entities. Like if Total War was to be sold to Let's just say CD Projekt Red. I would never talk about Creative Assembly ever again. I would never buy any of their other games. And I would I would then be focused on CD Projekt Red. So, like I said, my, my loyalty is to Total War. Always has been. Never to Creative Assembly. And so when I call them out in the past, that is because I want what's best for Total War, not Creative Assembly. I don't care about Creative Assembly. Alright, I'm going to put another Lord here. That way he'll be sandwiched between two armies. He'll have no... Oh, I was going to give that... Oh, that's too late. guess it doesn't matter. Um, even if he comes out on the water, I'll be able to get him. Because, yeah, I'm chasing after him for quite a few turns now. City Project Red sucks. sucks. I was just using an example. Just... Just any, any company that you think, or games company that you think is good if creative assembly was to sell the ip to that company yeah i'm not saying that cd project red was um, that it was even on the option that being said i really hope that if they were going to sell the ip they don't sell it to someone worse because creative assembly is not the worst developer spread ruin on them See you in one year. So, in one year, are you going to come back and ask me why am I so gay? Oh, fine. Whatever. <laughs> to Paradox? Oh, look, I don't know. I don't know. Look, I don't I don't care. I think speculating on, on something that's not going to happen. Like, the only way that Creative Assembly would even consider selling Total War is if they're about to get liquidated, which I don't think is going to happen. So I think Sega is going to keep them on. And I hope they do. But, you know, we have seen some games companies make one game of a franchise and then a different company make another. So I think uh, one recent example of this is uh, Space Marine. The original game was made by Relic and the sequel is made by, I don't know. <laughs> I like watching you and, sorry, I like watching you and I'm curious about what I have between you and CA. Okay, we've already talked about it enough, I think. I don't want to go around in circles. It's just, like, just imagine what's happened with the community and CA over the past two years. And basically it was a complete reflection of what happened with me and CA. You know, you know how the entire community revolted against Creative Assembly? Yes, That's basically what happened with me as well at the exact same time. You know, what was happening in the creator program was pretty much identical to what was happening with the, um, with the content, you know? They were being dishonest, and it was not worth partnering up with them. And so I revolted. You can't expect someone to just take abuse with a smile forever. It's just not going to happen. Alright, we need to make our way down here. But yeah, like I said, it's not worth going into the details because nothing can be done. Oh wait, I was going to send that guy somewhere else. Um, nothing can be done about it. It doesn't matter. Like I said, all's well that ends well. And I kind of consider everything to have ended well. 
listen to any stream ever to learn about it? No, we really haven't talked about it that much recently. Can you subjugate or vassalize the changeling? Let me just check. I don't. I don't think so, because I think I'm allied to the changeling. Yeah, I can't. I can't do anything with him. Yeah. Valkyrie the bloody. All right. Well. That would be a field battle, and those are some pretty high tier units versus our marauders. We're not at war with them yet. But do you know who I did want to go to war with that I haven't gone to war with yet? You. Okay, if I double back around this way. Force march it. We must not cease! What I'm going to do is declare war on Throg, bring back the Sarl, because I don't think they were subjugated, uh, don't think they were confederated, and yeah, just start uh, taking territory away from Throg, because there's some good stuff up this way, and this will give Valkyrie the experience that she needs, I think. Sega will sell CA before CA sells sort of what? Like I said, it, it was just it was just a discussion. It wasn't like this is what's going to happen. Like a hypothetical. You know, you guys do hypotheticals on me all the time. It's like legend, fuck, marry, kill, Morathi, Throg, Tyrion. Yeah, pointless conversations. That's all I was doing as well. Uh, I'm not sure if Hellebron is going to succeed in capturing Hagrif. The first demon prince. I don't mind if she does. I'll probably end up giving it to her anyway. I don't think I'd give it to anyone else. But yeah, once she has captured Hag Grief, I would consider piecing out with Malekith, who is now willing to give me 20 grand. No chance of a confederation. Uh, f uh vassalization. Not yet, anyway. What? We shall weave the fates. Sega could just license that award to whoever they wanted, couldn't they? Mm, I don't know about that. I, I don't know. Look, the thing to keep in mind is that Total War has had a rough couple of years. But for the most part, Total War is still very profitable. As far as I'm told. Apparently Warhammer 3 not so much these days, I don't know. Um, like, Creative Assembly had a rough year last year. But they've got a pretty consistent track record of at least producing profitable games, of Total War games. So I don't think there's really any any valid reason to think that, that Sega would sell off Total War to someone else. There's a giant. All right, let's go. Okay, any more down this way? No. All right, would this army be able to handle Kolek? Probably not. We'll have to set up a trap for him. Uh, stop, stop the miscrime. Nice name, did a twenty dollars super chat. Good morning or whatever, legend. Any chance we can get a heads up on live streams for members? Keep up the solid work. Uh, okay, thanks for super chat, dude. Here's the thing: I usually don't plan my live streams in advance. Like, I, I would love to be able to provide members some kind of advantage, but I literally didn't know I was going to live stream until like ten minutes before I started live streaming. These days I don't have a schedule. I just do it whenever I want, and I just I just click start live stream and go. And I get that that can be a little bit annoying. 
I don't know what to tell you. Like, like, I am not a full-time streamer anymore. Uh, okay, we can now get the Dolgan's trade agreement. Are you after a drink, a fist fight, or both? You have my faith. Tribesmen, gather. Losing relic is a bit of a blow. True yeah. Savages. Yeah. Maybe. Rel Relic's been a bit of a shit bag. Oh, that's not really a very nice word to use it. They've been a bit of a shit company for a while. They've done some stinkers. Apparently, Age of Empires 4 is alright. But Company of Heroes 3 is not doing very well. And I imagine that had a big contribution to them getting sold off. Or bought out. I, I don't know. I don't know. I do hope the best for Relic. I, I hope that they can make like a Dawn of War 4 or something and make it truly amazing. Bring back the the old... Then again, would that... W probably would be a bit silly to bring out a Dawn of War 4 and a Warhammer 40k at the same time. Total War, that is. That seems a bit silly, so... I don't I don't imagine a, a Dawn of War 4 is coming. Yeah, I can't make use of the pottery. That's a really good one as well. Favor from all buildings faction wide. That's insane. It's like entrepreneur. All right, I'm gonna put these guys in ambush stance here. See if we can lure any rifling forces up this way. Uh, where's Echold? Echold, you go. Go this way. I think I might change directions on <laughs> this one. <laughs> change direction. Go back over this way. I want you to attach to this army here. Are you a god? Destruction for all. Which Warriors of Chaos Legendary Lord do you think has the best campaign after Archeon and Bellacore? Ooh, You could say that they're all pretty much equal. Relic almost sank that AoE 4 ship. On the other side, the Sultan Ascend DLC kind of saved it. Though I'm not sure who exactly is now mainly developing it. Yeah, fair enough. Random name fifty five did a five dollar super chat. Hey, legend, just joined. I noticed you haven't dedicated your units under Festus. Tactical reason, or just haven't felt like the need yet. That's an emergency army. I don't intend to keep Festus there for long. It's just to deal with Kolek. Yeah, some people are saying Kolek. I'd probably agree with that, Kolek. Shadow Joe 316 Looks like they successfully sacked it. Um, did a $50 super chat. Love your content. Been watching you since Warhammer 1. I have two questions. What's the top three best fighting legendary lords? And what are your thoughts on if they made Total War Game of Thrones? <laughs> thrones. Technically it is thrones. It's just not the right thrones. Um Okay, really appreciate the super chat. Very generous. I'll answer it in re reverse. Game of Thrones, I'm all for. A Total War game set in an age, a uh, uh, song of ice and fire. I am all for it. I just hope they do a good job of it. I don't think it's coming, but, you know, maybe in 10 years. We'll see. Um, as for the top three best fighting legendary lords, Archaon, probably. Tyrion and maybe Malice Darkblade. Barker or PSG? Dortmund or Atletico? That is just like four 
four words that are in a sentence that I don't understand what you're talking about. <laughs> Do you usually stick Valkyr with an Armor Order army when playing as her? I usually do go with um, Ch uh, Chosen. She's just starting off with uh, those those units. You know, you got to go Marauders, then Chaos Warriors, and then Chosen. I can't just go straight to Chosen. No Scarbrand? Mm, Scarbrand's very good. But... Mm, yeah. I mean, There's a problem. There's so many. How do you pick a top three? It's football clubs. Okay. Hmm. Rebels. Certainly. Dark servant. You and your... Uh, Okay, I don't want my allies getting involved with this, because then it can get messy. So I'll actually speak to Katarin and say, hey, Saliak, Daj, and Tor, what am I doing? I can How about I offer to join war against Throg? My people are there we go. Consort of Corn. Do you think there are any new factions coming to Warhammer 3? Oh, new races? Yes, I think there is one new race still to come. The glory of war. Alright, I'd rather not have to fight this manually because it's just a minor settlement I battle. I know you guys hate guns. them. So let's see if this helps. Hey Legend, do you have a wife and maybe kids? Yes, I am married. I've been married for nearly nine years. And we've got our first kid on the way in about eight weeks. Oh, there we go. Decisive victory now, nice. Violence and That's a big death. difference. Which one? No, you just have to wait and see. Yeah, see, this vassal will come back. Let's it matters that. not from whence the blood flows. Ind, probably. Maybe. Sword maiden of the blood god. Alright, no sign of them there. I don't want to get caught in force march, but I also don't want to stay in this area. I'd rather come up here. Your feet should bleed. Alright, I hope this doesn't bite me in the ass too much. Follows me. I stand there. Straight to business. Where shall uh, we they end up next? Fighting the long That's ships okay. are ready. In agreement. Okay. Eight weeks or less. We will see. New supply line on the way? Yeah. Sweet, sweet murder. Eight weeks. Our due date is eight weeks. June 5. We're June 6. So yeah. June 6. June 6 is the due date. Yeah, of course they ran off. That makes sense. They probably ran over to Ubersreich. Nope, they ran off somewhere else. Okay. Oh, Arnalk should be sold the most to them. Surely fated this meeting. What brings you here? Being useless settlement set. to us. But this one down here, salt, I'll be keeping that. All right. Before I forget, this guy has got to go north. Okay. This time he decided that he just had nowhere to go. So the Hung War Band, we finally caught them. June 6 is my best of good day. Yep, it, it's it's unlikely that she'll be born on exactly June 6th, but that's just the due date. Apparently very few babies are actually born on their actual due date. Do you have any names for her yet? Yeah, we've got a couple. 
So we're going with maybe Marathi or Alariel or um, Aranessa. No, I'm just kidding. It's not going to be a Warhammer name. Alright, I'm going to have you. We'll have the trolls go and fight the Troll King with Valkyr. Against Valkyr. Cool. Alright, you get out of here. Didn't end up needing you for this. No, actually, he probably did help. Because if I didn't recruit him, they probably would have run away. Alright, and you keep moving. You got a long way to go. And you got a long way to go as well. So it's a girl? Yes, it's a girl. Unless unless all the tests have, have been wrong. Uh, it's a girl. Alright, so he's going to take an ice spewer. Alright, like I said, I want to set up a trap for him, because otherwise he's just going to run away from us. No! I'll borrow this guy's army. That would that'd be a nice one to borrow. Anything else out here that I could potentially borrow? No. Might get some more giants on the way if they spawn, which doesn't look like it. Yeah, that one I can't build a thing there. Yeah, there's our giant. And okay, there's two giants in that area. Good. Why are you going with shielded Marauder Chaos Warrior variant? Shields are great, especially when we're going up against factions that have lots of missile units. Don't underestimate the power of the shield. Shields increase your melee defense as well. So while you might lose out on maybe a bit of weapon strength, you gain more durability. Depends on what you value. Alright, I'm gonna just snatch this. Okay, so I think after 3,417 votes, that's enough. Shadows to change is worth it. It's a big discount, apparently. Alright, so I want to get rid of both of these settlements, but I have to give it to them. Can I do that? I can. Alright, if I can give away Isleheart, all right, the direction I want you to go after that will be Marienburg. Wait, is that where I want you to go? Yeah, because I want you right after that to go fight. Yeah, yeah. Onward to destruction. I'd usually negotiate with my sword. I'll hunt. There you go. I'll see it through. And then let's talk terms. You get Altdorf. But with any disagreements, there'll be a challenge. No problem. Because it's of no value to me whatsoever. Alright, let's make our way down to Ubersreich, which is also of no value. Grunberg is of high value to us, for sure. Nice. Okay, it doesn't look like we need defenses here anymore, because there's no one that's going to attack us in this area. These Wood Elves are our allies, and... As, look, if they just stay there, then we can just get money out of them. Because they're actually worth a fair bit. If we have a look, as long as they don't betray me, they're worth 500 a turn. Which is more than anyone else is going to get out of that settlement. And it'll go up more as they rebuild up, because we smash it up a fair bit. Alright. Naturally. Dominance. Alright, we've got to go revive Azazel. A lot of public order here, but it should drop down really quickly once we're here. Once we declare war, that is. Which I'll do next turn. 
Oh, no, we can do it this turn. Now, we do want my vassals getting involved, so I'll go offer to join war against them. That way my vassals don't get involved. And if we have a look, because we're now at war, this should be... Very nice, minus 56. So that means it'll only take four turns to bring Azazel back. However, we've got to we've got to beat up the defenders significantly between now and then. With Dwarf and Empire, no sorry, with Dwarf Empire Noble content, it's going to be feasting time for streamers. Going to get that baby shell paid off first week. Um, well. Pfft. Not necessarily. Well, the thing to keep in mind is that I don't get early access, which I'm fine with. I actually prefer it that way. So, I don't see myself streaming it much. Because by the time I can stream it, you guys will be playing it. And not watching. Probably. Um, so, yeah. The others will probably get a decent amount of benefit from it and that's good I'm glad I'm happy for them but I'm not I'm not expecting that this is going to be much for the channel I you know not in the short term in the long term it could be good we'll see but yeah no it's not feasting Master. time for me Master. Your eyes. plus I think the last few years I sort of taught me not to get overhyped about Total War stuff. <laughs> All right, mm, this settlement. They could declare war on us at any moment and strike. And Sigvald on his own is not going to be able to handle that. What we could do is wait until Drakas down to one settlement and then snatch the Griffin Wood and vassalize her. I might actually give up Kappelberg because. I don't know what I'm going to do, to be honest. Yeah, she's in no position. Because, yeah, if I stay right here with this arm... Actually, there's quite a few units that can be upgraded. If I was to strike at... Berkefen... Very well. It's a good settlement for us with that. There's no way that Sigvald can do this on his own. Are you a god? I mean, he could kill a, a lot of. Hmm. Don't forget, there's also. Yeah. I need to really redirect a lot of forces if I want to fight Cataran. I'm just not quite ready for that war yet. Uh, Rhino Meister did a two euro super chat. I will watch your stream while playing the new DLC. Okay, well, we'll see how we go. Honestly, I might have other things going on. Like, I'll def don't get me wrong, I'll definitely cover it. Just don't expect me to be, like, here every single day after the game launches, a DLC launches. Hey, Srini. Um, at Legend of War. And ask a question for Legend of Notice as well. I know it doesn't much of it. Oh, are you telling someone how to get my attention? Yeah, fair enough. I'm not buying that before I see how you are playing it to know whether it's good or bad. Fair enough. Like, I'll definitely show you. I'll definitely showcase it. Dominance. I'm just saying I'm not going to do, like, 20 streams all in a row sort of thing. I mean, it have to be really good for me to do that. But we'll see. We'll see. But the early access period for the creators has begun, and they're going to start creating their content, which means I'm just going to take a back seat and just let them do it. This is a good opportunity for them to to get a bit of an advantage. That's fine. Uh, Giga Johnson in ISK 500 Superset. You streamed Thorak on launch day and it was massive. Yeah, but that was Warhammer 2, dude. This is, Warhammer 3 is very different. The numbers that we get for Warhammer 3 now are nowhere near what we got in Warhammer 2. Warhammer 2 was a whole... It's so different. What? It takes so much damage. Uh, yeah, we can sack and occupy it, because I don't care about the actual... I just need to... 
Bring them yep. to ruin. Now is chaos. They will be dominant. All right, who else needs to move? We've got so many armies now. It takes ages to get through a turn just because of how many battles we're going to do. Just not sure what to do here. Like, if he had his armies ready to go, like, fully, full strength, that'd be one thing. But he doesn't. And I need to find order resolves because that's what's going to give them the most amount of experience. So I got to look for easy targets. I kind of feel like it would be easier for me to go after the Wargrove of Woe. You dare. What about the vampires? What are they doing? We go in, simpleton. Okay. All right. Here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. I'm gonna give this settlement over to Dryker. What? And I am going to go and fight the vampires, because they're probably gonna declare war on me anyway. I shouldn't have bothered capturing the settlement. It is it is a good resource, I can just come and get it later. Oh what? Alright, I'll sell it to you. no opposition. Okay, I'm not paying you to take a settlement. I'll just abandon it. There's a decent chance that they'll declare war on me over the end turn. I don't want to suffer a defeat now. I'll give it to, I'll, I'll, whatever. I got shitloads of money. Here you go. Whatever. She charged us for it. Most of Siggy's units can become warriors now. Yeah, but they're, Ready. you're right. They, they can. Still, Kislev's a very strong faction. So I'm looking for easier targets still. Yeah, just a little bit more and he'll be ready to go. Uh, Giga Johnson did an ISK 500 super chat. Thoric Warhammer 2, 250k. Grombin Grimble Warhammer 3, 261. Okay, so that's it. Thing to keep in mind, dude. Thanks for the super chat. Grombrindle was one of the first campaigns that we did for Warhammer 3. Warhammer 3's live streams plummeted post early access of Im Immortal Empires. Okay. And also, Thorek Warhammer 2, that was honestly nothing that special compared to some of the other ones. Like, trust me, I analyze the difference between Warhammer 2 streams and Warhammer 3 streams. The Warhammer 2 ones did better by a lot, by a big margin. It's not a small margin either. I know that that's not what you guys want to hear. And hey, it's not what I want to hear too. I wanted Warhammer 3 to be bigger than Warhammer 2. That is what. Um, Sir Laorum, subscribe with Prime, and Dingle Mungus, subscribe with Prime. Thanks guys, appreciate that. Mm, what am I doing with this one? By the Eldritch I see. Lord of Shadows. Alright, so they I think they sacked it. I think they sacked it. Or did they lose? She did take a lot of damage. I think she lost fighting it. The first. Alright, that's fine. We'll, this should be an easy order resolve for us at least. I think it's not a strong order resolve army. Mm. Maybe not. They shall fall. Hey Legend, I'm about to start a new campaign and I'm not very good. Who should I play which have easy and fun campaign? Okay, easy campaign. Probably Tyrion. As for fun, hard to say. It depends on what you enjoy. Everybody finds something different. Like, I enjoy Tyrion, but that doesn't mean you're going to enjoy Tyrion. Alright, no units get wiped out. Good job, fight manually. Sure, we'll take a lot of damage, but our replenishment's pretty good. Alright. Is there an appetite for World War One Total War? Wasn't that a rumor? Yes, it, it is mostly just a rumor, a bit of a leak on that one. Um, 
I don't know how much appetite there is for it. I don't think that doing a poll on this channel right now is going to give you an accurate representation. Because covering a new time period is something that could potentially bring in new players to Total War. It's hard to say what um, what the appetite's going to be, unless they actually do it. Um, Boo Aziz became a member for three months. Let's not forget Legend pissed at CA phase. Think that affected the numbers. It act No, it really didn't. It, it, it didn't. Um, because the pissed at CA phase um, was not really any different to post pissed at CA phase, so it it didn't it didn't actually didn't affect numbers that much. It had a few people saying that it did, but based on a very long period of time, over various different streams, the streams where I ranted about CA and the streams where I didn't rant about CA were ident identical in terms of viewership. And analytics. Uh, Freaking identical. Um, 420 Ninja Bear X did a 2 dollars super chat, but World Cup gets tons of views while you know stream. Because I don't care about the World Cup. Thanks for super chat, though. The gods smile. Alright, just uh, going to ambush chance. Okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah, look. Hey, Fortnite still gets heaps of views. I don't play Fortnite. I play what I want to play. Oh, yes. I foresee destruction. Sort of. Ready. There are streams with no rants on CA? Loads of streams with no rants on CA. Loads of them. They performed identical to the ones with rants with CA. In fact, in some cases, the rants against CA actually got more views. So, yeah, if you sit there and say, Oh, your channel declined because of CA. Uh, rants against CA. No. No. They did so many streams. There's no evidence to support that whatsoever. The... The, um... The thing that caused streams to 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 decline was Warhammer Three was too easy, and so people lost interest. Um, like things have been picking up a little bit lately, so that's good. Um, and the overall sort of state of the game when Immortal Empires and Warhammer Three first came out, those were the, the big contributing factors. Things things are slowly improving, but at the same time, I think it's important to note that. At least as far as my channel is concerned, the views were better in Warhammer 2. You know, this is not peak channel. And I get that Warhammer 2 was during COVID as well. So that may have impacted it. Right. Another thing to keep in mind as well is that the player count for Warhammer 3 is lower than Warhammer 2 on average. To be honest, I'd I know that's not what people want to hear. Okay. My Kubana writes. Okay, I think we're done with this turn. I could probably afford another army. Let's let's have a look. What should we recruit? Well, I said I was going to go and get... Oh, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll go around with another army to go and grab the Chaos Knights. Where am I getting my Chaos Knights from? Or do I have to get more order spam? Where can I get Chaos Knights from? They come from the red building, don't they? No, Chaos Warriors. Chaos Knights shot from this building. Up to two. So there should be some. Because I've been getting a lot of those buildings. Unless I'm blind and I just don't see it. There should be Chaos Knights there. Freaking no Chaos Knights anywhere. Chaos Warriors. Can we just convert a Chaos Warrior into a Chaos Knight? I'm pretty sure they need experience. That might be quicker. Because, yeah, there are just... There are just no Chaos Knights anywhere out here. Um, XJS became a member for 27 months. 
Looking good, Legend. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. There's a Chaos Knight. Okay, there's one. So let's start here. Uh, I just need someone to go around collecting the Chaos Knights. Ooh. Okay, that'll, this guy will probably meet up with that other one. Let's also make a Marauder Horseman army. So I'll just go around with this one collecting a whole bunch of things and I'll split them up. Because, yeah, we need some more armies. We've got heaps of money. Alright, any more to do this turn? I think we're just about done. Why not try to ally recruit some? I don't really like ally recruitment that much. Unless it's like a really good unit, which... I don't think I'll be able to get. I mean, let's have a little bit of... Oh, no, I don't build outposts. Maybe we should build some outposts. Oh, there's so many, though. Um, okay, let's build an outpost. Mm. Maybe, okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe... Look, I've... <laughs> these guys are here. Um, World Walkers, maybe? At the Black Pit. Yeah, we'll build an outpost there. Then Legion of Chaos. Yeah, I might be able to get more demons that way. They've only got one settlement, so pop it down there. Uh, Major Wind did a five dollar super chat. Good stream. Next game needs to be Total Emu War. Okay, sure. Thanks for the chat. Wait until they get a major settlement. I know if we build it up to. Mm, actually, you know what? Let's just do that. I can always replace it later. All seeing eye, maybe get some Zinch stuff. Hawkland, get some Empire stuff. Maybe. Lorelon, get some Wood Elf stuff. Hmm, there's some things in here. They've got Hargoneth, alright, we'll put one there. Pretty funny how <laughs> they still technically exist. Ursa and Revivalist, we can put an outpost there. Yeah, we'll see what you eventually recruit from there. Alright, there we go. Oh shit, you got captions working? Yeah, I did. Yeah, finally got it working. Are you going to main Australia or Emu? Probably Emu, because I like to have a challenge. Then again, they're the victors, so maybe I should play as Australia. Is this Warhammer 2 or 3? This is actually Warhammer 1. <laughs> Excited to see you cover Nurgle again with the DLC drops. Uh, what are your thoughts on the new Nurgle changes? I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with what I'm seeing so far. Yeah. However, look, it's not really on theme to be happy with this channel, with anything that Creative Assembly does, I've got to I've got to stay in on theme, on brand. So argh, I really hate everything that they're doing. Yeah. <laughs> no. I credit where credit's due. I'll criticize them when they do a bad job, and I'll praise them when they do a good job. I think that Thrones of Decay is looking pretty good so far. I'm I'm hyped. Like maybe a five out of ten hype. Warhost of Zar? I'll wait until they've got a better settlement. Wait, no, no, no. Oh, so now you want... Now that I'm just about to start fighting you, you want peace. This will give me some more time then to fight Malekith. You've got some stuff I want. But yeah, I wasn't quite finished with Malekith. Alright, alright. By the time I'm done with him... Yeah, you pay me more. Actually, can you give me a settlement? Join war against... Rackland? Yeah, okay, this is silly. Alright, now we can just focus on Malekith. Have any of your vassals broken free? Nope. Nope, they've been very reliable in this campaign. So far... Taurus, uh, Taurus. Boris Toddbringer is completely on the run.
I have Worma 1, 360 hours, Worma 2, 2,800 plus hours, Worma 3, 340 hours. What am I up to? Right. So, Warhammer 3, I'm up to 5,700. I've been stuck on, on about, about that ever since. Well, obviously, the more I live stream it, the more it goes up. But after, um, I know the first year I played a lot of this. Second year, it's in 2023, not so much. Maybe a thousand hours in total. Considering it's my job, that seems pretty normal. Um, but I don't see myself getting to Warhammer 2 levels of, of play count numbers. So I got 14,470 hours. Now, it's important to note that with Warhammer 2, I don't currently have it installed because it's, it's big and it won't fit on my SSD. Um, this is over the course of four years. However, I didn't really play it much for the first year. I only started playing it after like the Tomb King started coming out. And I only really started playing it a bit after that. So that's more like the playtime after three hours. Now I know that Warhammer 1... Oh my god, where'd I put it? Total War Games I don't play. Warhammer 1... I only got 1,700 hours. Now, the game was only out for 18 months before Warhammer 2. So Warhammer 2 was definitely, like, supported the longest. Oh, shit! That's nah, fine. I can reveal that. Yeah, look at this, guys. I don't, I don't get Total War Games early access, but I do get Manor Lords! <laughs> Are you a god? What about Manor Lords? Yeah, I played it a bit today. I only just got it. I, I think I'll be able to live stream it in Saturday. Manor Lords, real thing? Yep, I was playing Manor Lords today. The real thing. Got early access to it. Leaked? Nah, it's fine. Let us corrupt. All right. My lord, Sinch agrees. Destroy. Yeah, we've got to soften up the defenders so that the Zazel can come back. Despoil. Let's see if we can auto this. Oh yeah, given what's here, fair enough. Okay, I'll have to fight it manually. Let's know the access goat. That's another thing I have to point out as well. Like my relationship with this running theme in this stream. I have had business relationships with loads of different games companies, and I've never been treated as badly as I have them with Creative Assembly. Across the board! I've worked with so many games company, and they've always been so much better than Creative Assembly, which is so frustrating because it's the main game that I cover. Then do subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Like, I've got, I've actually got a business relationship now with um, Paradox. Um, I've done it with Ubi Ubisoft. Has always been good. Anytime that I've communicated with Ubisoft, um, been minimal sort of um, interaction with them, but that was it was a good experience. Because that was Anno 1800. Um, the Paradox experience with Millennia was great. Hooded Horse. Those guys seemed... Oh, fuck. They're all on bloody... Oh, oh, then again, I'm up against Warriors of Chaos. Not too many missile units. Okay, that's fine then. Plus I can heal. All right. I should have checked my mounts. Maybe that's why it's... Crushing defeat. I've worked with so many different businesses, different companies, and I've pretty much, except for, except for MCNs, but nobody likes MCNs. They're all bloody scams. I've had good experiences across the board. Manscaped? Manscaped is great. Although, to be fair with Manscaped, I don't actually talk to them directly. I go through my broker, and so sort of like my agent. Like I've got an agent, and they sort everything out. They're great. If you're if you're a creator, sign up, sign up with AFK Creators. They are fantastic. Yeah, anytime I cover anything, it's usually like that's what I've told. It's usually thanks to them. They give me great deals. 
So, like I said, I can have really good business relations. I've been with AFK Creators for fucking years. Love those guys. They're always honest with me. Just, you know, they don't try to fuck me over. <laughs> the contracts are just absolutely reasonable. I know how a good business relationship should work, and you know when you're in a bad one. That's the thing, it's like, uh, maybe I should stop the battles. Do I not have any final transmutations? Arcane torment awaits. I will give you one euro if you promote my game. Uh, yeah, that is not my going race. <laughs> And also, I only only will promote your game if I think it's good. Chaos is magic. I am Chaos sorcerer. Reality bends. I don't. Oh, Father, behold. So what does the undivided one do again? Leadership and physical resistance. Well, that doesn't stack though. Chaos sorcerer. Six is boom. I bring a tempest. At your command. Sorcerer lord. Six is boom. Future faction on. My magic is ready. Exalted hero of Nerf. Crushing defeat, apparently. Literally recovered in this battle, because we weren't at full strength at the start of it. I feel like hero stacks aren't as good as honor resolve as they used to be. It's fine. I don't have a problem with that. my favorite hero stack probably um i actually really like lizardman hero stacks they're really good because it's fun to play with dinosaurs because i'm a little kid in an adult body yeah yeah okay don't no just to stack it Got to bring back Azazel. I don't think we have to strip away corruption. Let us corrupt. That shouldn't matter, I don't think. 
All right, the defensive building is still there, so we've got a few turns before the actual revolt begins. We're just going to keep stacking it. No need to change any of the mounts. If we're going up against missile heavy factions, we should definitely tag out the Chaos War Shrines. But that was actually very handy for that battle, though. Bartolo what do you think you're doing? You're not, you're not thinking of taking this, are you? I don't think so. Let me it just get done. this one. Understood. Yeah. Festus, the Lich Lord. Shit. It's clearly going to take. No, he's not going to ruin her in front of them. Surely not. Death before life. I bring contagion. The crow directs me. I need to get this. It's mine. Okay. We are reckoning. Who else do I not have? Village. All right. Yeah. Yeah. See. Um. Okay. If I take Marienburg, I can sell that to them. No problem. We can take Ubersreich and hand that over to them because it's of no value to us. Grunberg's of value, but eh, two of Vlad declares war on us. I'm not gonna worry too much. This is wise. I bring despair. Which lord are you trying to revive? Azazel. Desecration. Azazel buffs embedded heroes, right? That's correct. Yep. Ready, moving now. Joyous slaughter. Mm, getting that. My existence is yours. Will you recruit Swords of Chaos for Archeon's Night Stack? Nah, I don't really like the Swords of Chaos that much. I know that's blasphemy, but you know, you like what you like, and I don't like them. I think they're overrated. I hope they fix Koleg's AI so he's not so passive. I feel like him and Azazel are the most passive of the Warriors of Chaos. Hmm. I think it depends on what campaign you're playing. But yeah, I mean, this campaign here, Azazel got wrecked. I foresee destruction. A lot of Marauders available here. Snow will never be a barrier to war. Valkyr the Bloody. Skulls for the Skull Throne! Want to upgrade Doggos? I don't think I can, dude. Otherwise, I totally would. I don't think. What, what can I upgrade them to? You tell me. For the Blood God! Unrelenting murder! God, she's almost got a full army of Chaos Warriors. We're getting there. It's getting stronger. With every fight. It matters not from whence the blood flows. Bringer of glory. Strength is forged in blood. Sweet. Okay, Sweet Throg murder. is likely to bring large units against us, so we should switch our Chaos Warriors of Corn over to Halberds. 
Okay. Now, they lose the progress to the next experience, but they don't actually lose experience for that. Uh, there's no anti-large Marauder variant, and no anti-large uh, Chosen variant, so just leave that be. There will always be blood. Also, do we have flaming attacks? No, and they chose to get them. Such meager resistance. Reforged for murder. Good. That's My proficiency good. Valkyrie's is army's unsurpassed. really starting to come together now. She should be able to handle a not too difficult sort of fight. Upgrade them to dragon doggos. Mm, okay. Yeah, that's uh, totally a thing. Alright, so that's good. That means we should have another Gift of Nurgle available. Do we want to finish off Slanesh? Maybe. Extra armor. I mean, it only takes one turn. Why not? Do it. 540 research right now. Okay, Sandor, what are you doing? Yeah, you just chill out here. Agree. Mortals will pray. Avert your eyes. Right, Marauder Spears. Marauder Spears are for Zinch. What do I want to do with you? Oh! Undead, of course! Harold Hammerstorm? Yeah, of course! Okay, Grunberg, that's where you're going. Oh. oh, no, 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 there was actually good units there. Oh, well. Sweet, sweet murder. Uh, where's my... Uh, this one over here. Alright, what do we got out here this turn? Mm, no giant. Okay, however, there is a... Start doing a manticore stack at some point. Yeah, get the Chaos Warriors. What about the Chaos Knights? Any Chaos Knights here? Because they'll probably meet up with that other army. Yeah, and grab that one. Okay. Alright, let's go out this way. It's going through the Chaos Waste looking for the units that we want. I would enjoy dropping a plague right here. Okay, all well, that looks good. Anything else we need to do? Alright, I haven't moved Bellicor yet. Alright, so yeah, we can focus on Malekith. Alright, I want to keep this one for myself. I don't want Hag Grief. We can hand that over to Hellebron. Actually, let me just check something real quick. I want to see if that landmark is actually available here. No. Not that we would be able to recruit it. Don't waste my time with petty intrigues. Alright. Is there a fix for lords getting stuck in siege battles? Yeah, I think uh, if you press Alt F4, that is a oh. fix for it. <laughs> uh, short answer, no. No, there's no fix. God, they're not going to fix that kind of stuff. Yeah, that'd be good. Warband upgrade cross for demon units. Demon units don't even show up on... On here. Yeah, only Bellicor can upgrade them. Archaon can't. The demons, that is. The dark so that makes... That makes both of these not that useful. I wonder if that experience gained for Undivided Lords and Heroes is faction-wide. I'm not sure. I mean, if it says Undivided Lords, surely that means faction-wide. 
grab that. I gain. I don't let you do 12, that closed my game. Hey, it's fixed! <laughs> hey, you won't be stuck in the siege anymore. No, okay. Let's go that way. Anything here for us? No. Oh, I got those, yeah. Yes, my ruinous power. So yeah, doing a bit of a recruitment drive up here. Wish we had the teleport a bit. This is why I usually play as Bellacor for the teleporting. It's so much better. Carnets awakened. And it's not like the soul's passive is really that big of a deal. I guess the research rate is. Alright, mid and home. Let's pop that down. The experience gain is faction wide. Thanks, dude. Thanks for the confirmation. All right, let's sell this off to. No, no, stay there for the turn so we get more replenishment. Let's sell it off to them later. All right, looking good. Let's move on. I'm gonna do a bit of recruiting here. See what's available. Not much. Just in case they decide to declare war and charge at us, which could happen. Chaos. Give us some chance of defending if we've got a larger army there. One Chaos Knight in Brass Keep. Too far? Yeah, too far for them to go at this stage. They called hell. I like the lore of going around gathering all the Chaos Factions under Undivided Archeon. Yeah, I like having designated dedications, like an Undivided Dedication, Zinch Dedication, Nurgle, Korn, Slanesh. And, and like just fully focus into that. And sometimes have them work together. So you want to have a Korn and maybe a Nurgle one fight together side by side, but you don't want Corn and Slanesh fighting side by side, that's not law friendly. Set them apart. How would it be 2024 and people still fall for the old Alt F4 trick? I'm sure he was just joking. Nobody actually falls for that. Oh, excuse me, getting tired. Has he said his favorite new unit DLC yet from the DSM? Well, I haven't played it, so I'm not. I think it's pretty silly to have a favorite before you've played something. What's your favorite Dune movie? Dune three. <laughs> what could you possibly offer me, mewling spawn? I am... That's it. I don't imagine he'll stay there for that long. Do 
Do you have any leaks about the campaign mechanics of Tamarkan? They said he will have a cheat death mechanic in combat. No, no leaks like that, no. No black tea today. I've already drank it. My dad fell for that when playing with his mates the other day. <laughs> oh, that's pretty bad. Uh, which 40k army would be the most excited to play? I'd be half the Tyranids. Yeah. Um, really, any of them I'm down to play. Tyranids would probably bring, bring big hype. Yeah. this. Good, but don't build up on it just yet. Thing is with these guys here is they're all fresh recruits going up against probably fairly experienced units. Plus, Kolak, even, even if we've got loads of anti-large, that could be a bit of trouble. Are you a god? Sorry, bring in Festus just in case we need some heavy hitters. I'm totally fine with this guy occupying Gorgia Rock. If you could do that, I'll take Ice Spewer. And then we'll confederate him there. Alright. Alright, can you go into. No, I used up too much movement. Can you? Yeah, go into Ambush Dance. They might attack us. Pick up some more units. Uh, not those ones. Alright, over here. Alright, two turns until he comes back. We've still seriously got a week in this garrison. That is not good enough. Azazel will not win against that. So can we auto resolve it this time? Yeah, I'm just going in camp stance, it should be fine. You will repay this debt. Who is the hottest chaos worshipper? I asked for a friend. Um, probably Valkyr. Uh ask a stupid question, get a stupid answer, I guess. be interesting if there's like an army here about to teleport on top of me. Even if they did that, I still think I'd win. Okay, okay, what are we doing this turn? You've had it a bit easy for a while. Grung Zint is a good settlement for us because there's marble here. And it will be safely nestled in. So, who is Bretonia fighting against at the moment? Not one Clan step Scry. Further, okay. Step. Okay. Some good stuff in here for sure. Handsome and lethal. Everything but dies. Bad. You dare. I shall rip thee apart. And what? Alright. Well, with a melee infantry army, that's... Mostly now Chaos Warriors. Don't have that much armor piercing, but they've got pretty good stats. I wonder if we should declare war on him. Because, like, I'm kind of leaning towards it. I could occupy Kemperbad back and give it back to Old Dorf. Uh, to, um, Norska. 
I won't have much allied support for a while. Uh, you... Hang on, there was knights here, wasn't there? But there was stuff here that we get. Just, just go back up here real quick. Then grab the knight, and this one, and... That'll do it. <laughs> okay, get moving. Alright, should you maybe come around this way and go to the monolith of... No, no, but it's quicker to go there this way. Mistress of skulls. Okay, I can reach the Forbidden will. Citadel. There is a military presence here, I think. No, it's at Altar of Spawns. Is that where it is? Must be like four or five units, no. seven units, okay. Alright, if we Consort occupy this, Lord. we will get it at tier four. I'll probably have to fight the this manually queen. to minimize damage. A bloodbath comes. Alright, we'll just have to see how we go. Are you able to confederate the changeling? If you're playing as Kairos, yes. Skulls for the skull throw! The glory of war. Spare none. Okay, going into this fight, however, it's going to be mostly infantry, so I'm not going to. Spill blood for corn. Not going to switch. Actually, no, I should have switched this to halberds. For corn. Uh, Morning Star did a 25 pill and said, "Hi, why are you keep sacking village? Why not confederate him? What am I missing? We're trying to re thanks to Bichet, by the way. We're trying to revive Azazel. He revives at the settlement. See what I'm doing here? I'm causing huge public order problems. Azazel needs to come back because I didn't confederate him. Behold my wrath. Good question, though. Yeah, I need to fight this one manually. We, we would not take this much damage if we fought it. You buying the new DLC, Legend? Yeah, I'm going to buy the new DLC. I'm going to try it out. So far, I mean, I haven't spoken to any creators about it. Um, I'll ask for their opinions. But I think it's a pretty safe bet I'm going to buy it. Because even if it's shit, I'll buy it, I'll make like one stream out of it, and I'll easily make my money back. So it's no big deal. And I think people will get annoyed at me if I don't cover it. And like I said, it seems like it's pretty solid. Valkyrie, the bloody. Yeah, I see a lot of people complaining about it, you know, being twenty-five dollars. Oh, you know, they don't want to see twenty-five dollar DLC anymore, sort of thing. And I, I get it, and it's fine. But, um, like I said, you got to pick your battles with CA. Just you can't win them all. You can't win them all. Pick your battles. And I think I fought. CA on too many battles at the moment. I need to back off a little bit. Give them some slack. Give them some time to actually... You know, if, if, look, if the content matches the price, then I'm fine with that. That's all I was asking for. Right, you stay back. You're a bit damaged. Steals us. Of chaos. 
I mean, I see you cover it, regardless of when you do, new content, new cheese. Yeah, maybe. Well, it'll definitely be after it's released, obviously. No more early access. Dumb with that. You never know, maybe one day things will fix with CA. One day. I'm definitely open to the, uh, the possibility of that. I just... Based, based on the way that they've... Uh, based on the way things have been going, I, I don't think it's ever going to get fixed. I, I think they hate me. And that's fine. Yes. Visit. I kind of understand. Stand by everything they said, but I understand. It is done. Okay, it doesn't matter if we kill them or not. Rage guides me. Honestly, our forces aren't doing that amazing. Slaughter personified. Very well. Probably because we're going up against a lot of infantry and we're using anti-large. Warriors of Korn! Honestly, their garrisons are doing pretty damn well. I'll just pull through that if you can. Yeah, it's a tier 5 unit. They're actually using. Sorry, it's a tier 5 uh, settlement. They're actually using some pretty good units. Incidental! Witness my strength! Axe Fathers for Roaders! Followers of Chaos! See, these will be good for my marauders. Uh, my, um, halberds, I mean. Keep them, keep my own too much, even though we're spell resistant. Maybe I should have auto resolved it. I don't think I'm doing much better than what, what auto resolve would have yielded. Because we're taking some serious damage here. It's kind of lopsided. I thought we just walk in here and slaughter them. It's not. Do you think they will add landmarks to dark fortresses? Maybe a couple here and there. I wouldn't expect a ton of them. I would like to see that though, for sure. This one's taking too much damage and pull it back. Alright, these guys here are taking too much damage, I gotta get them out of there. See, this is where shields would have been nice as well. Maybe I should have switched them back to regular Chaos Warriors. The Halberd variant was a bad choice here. I didn't think they would struggle this much. Resting for slaughter! Carnage moves. Savage duty. Valkyrie the bloody! Definitely winning, there's no doubt about that. But the order resolver was going to give us a victory as well. Maybe attacked a bit too heavy on this flank. 
So that one there has lost most of its health, but most of the entities are still alive. Oh, so. Yeah, a lot of Marauder champions with great weapons. So they got the armor piercing to get through us. Should have auto resolved it. Probably would have spread out the damage a bit more evenly. Uh, what do you think will be the new Dwarf and Nurgle Lord starting position? Nolan is kind of obvious. Is Nolan obvious? I don't think it actually is. I think that, um, I don't think she is necessarily starting in Whistleland. It doesn't make any sense for her to start in Whistleland, at least in Immortal Empire. I think that she'll possibly start in Nuln in Realms of Chaos, but who fucking cares about that? Um, I don't, I'm not going to speculate about Realms of Chaos. As for Immortal Empires, I don't think that Elspeth is going to start in Whistleland. I think that she'll be called like the Nuln Expedition, and she'll probably start in the Mountains of Morn. Pro That's just a guess, I have no idea. Um, as for Malachi McKayson, he could literally start anywhere. Probably not starting too close to Ungram, even though he's got... That dude is a legendary hero, his son. Um, again, could start anywhere because he's got a airship. Could start anywhere. Could start at Karak Doom. Karak Doom. Karak Doom. That's where he'll start because in the third book, that's where he goes to reclaim that um, that hold. There we go. Yeah, I think Malachi McKayson will start at Karak Doom. Karak Doom. Because there's a bit of an absence of let no Astrogoth starts near there. That'd be an interesting dwarf star position. Karak Doom. I'll get on the campaign map and have a little look. I wouldn't be surprised if they moved Gelt and start her in Null. No, no, Gelt will stay there. Gelt will stay in the Empire. It makes sense for him to be within the Empire because he he's there to serve Karl Franz. And it makes sense to get Elspeth elsewhere because she is not an elect account. She can go wherever she wants. They'll do a similar sort of thing, or maybe maybe she'll be like um, Yuan Bo, where she'll start with two positions. Maybe. Uh, CH today, 45 DKK Simshare. Do you know Blackwall's faction revive map? A steam guide easier to goog, in my opinion. I.e. map that shows the faction able to be revived in every single region. Um, yeah, I just get most of the man's image that he's got. That's where I get it from. But thanks for... I, Black Ball's faction revive map, I don't have that. Or maybe it is the one that I have. Thanks for Super Chat, though. Um, hang on a sec. No, I need to occupy this. Yeah, yeah. Corn so. dominates here! It's Karakazorn, data mind. Karakazorn, isn't that... Which one's... Oh, Karakazorn is over here, isn't it? So he starts over here. Okay, yeah. Uh, I, I would have thought it would make a bit more lore sense to start at Karak... Karak Doom. But that's fine. Okay, so... Malachi McKayson starts here. And... Again, they could put Elspeth fucking anywhere... She might, she might start southern tip of Lustria. Who, who knows? Who knows where she's going? I fucking don't. As for Tamarcon, it would only make sense from a law perspective as he, if he started from here and anywhere along this line here to this point. That somewhere along here should be a start position. Now, there's already a Nurgle faction there so that could be a placeholder so maybe he'll start at the plains of Zanbaijin and that other Nurgle faction will disappear that being said there's not that many minor Nurgle factions that being said as well there's legendary lords everywhere it's really hard to put someone anywhere on the map and there just not be that many legendary lords maybe the fuck could put him in Estalio just it because, like, there's a lot of weird star positions. Like, what's Kugath doing in the Dragon Isles? That's such a weird star position. 
Is there a hero that gives replenishment for you? Nope. Not for the Warriors of Chaos. Okay, Marienburg. Yeah, I think we should finish with Reichland before we start fighting Bretonia. As much as I want that one. They might unlock a chunk of the map and put new stuff there. Mm, maybe. I doubt it. I doubt it, but you, 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 they might. Right. Uber, oh, shit. Excuse me. Um, Fort. No. Marienburg. Is it? Let's talk terms. Wait, do we have the special port there? Let me just check. No. There's. Nothing we can do with this. Let's talk terms. But with any disagreements, there'll be a challenge. Agreed. Hey, Legend, who do you think has the most fun campaign? Ooh. I really enjoy Scarbrand, but that's that's a very much a me thing. I know that most other people probably don't like Scarbrand that much. But that's my that's my go-to campaign for fun. You have my favor. All right, these two oh, here mostly recovered. Any marauders? Yep. Okay, there's your last marauder that you need. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I'm just going to sack this settlement here so that we get loads of experience for Sigvold and then fall back because there's doesn't seem like there's too much out this way. I think we've got line of sight because of the changeling because we're allied with him. Most of our armies are out of this way. If I occupy this though, wine's not that important of a resource. I oh, know actually wine's good for marauders. Um, if we occupy this, I'm going to be stuck here defending it and this is just not ready to deal with with everything there yet. You dare. I shall rip thee apart and watch thine empty soul return death. Yeah, look, all of our allies joined. Even the ones that hate us. Who are these grotesqueries? There's a ton of space in southern Cathay. Yeah, maybe. Maybe they'll put him there. Is there, though? That's where Nakai starts. Okay, all of these guys can now become Chaos Warriors. Good amount of experience there. So yeah, you really want to make that leap from Marauder to Chaos Warriors. That's really important. Getting to Chaos Warriors to Chosen, like that's good as well, but it's not as urgent. This guy here's been stuck on that amount of experience for a while. Alright, all Chaos Warriors there now. Good. And with Sigvald, if we're going to go up against vampires, it might help to have lightning strikes so that we're not dealing with four full fucking armies of shit. Dominance. My adoring hordes agree. That guy should be okay, right? Yes, let's find out. Alright. Let's... Take Helmgard. Not sure if we'll win this order as well. Uh, famous Zaggy did a 50 NOK Super Opinion on RK on star position. I lose patience getting to the Empire thinking about modding to change the star position. Uh, I'm fine with it. Ooh, yeah, that's not good. Yeah, I'm fine with it. Uh, if you want to mod it to st change the star position, you go for it. That should have been worth a decent amount of experience for these guys. 
Good, yeah, we're starting to get towards some more Chaos Warriors. That'll be good. Yeah, Marauders is not what we want. Will you ever do a Beastman campaign ever? Um, I really like Beastman campaign, for sure. But they don't perform well on YouTube. So if I'm going to do it, I, I might prefer to do something that you guys are entertained by. So I can always just play certain campaigns in my own time if I enjoy it, but you guys don't. Beastman, Beastman stuff just never performs well. I usually negotiate with my sword, but today you are lucky. Cause yeah, I tell you what, if they did perform well, I would play Beastman way more often. Good. Warriors of Chaos usually performs really well. Like this is a pretty good turnout for uh, episode three. I'm pretty happy with that. High elves always perform well, especially Tyrian campaigns. Empire performs well. Dwarves, eh, mid. Cathay usually performs well. Kislev performs well. The uh, Demons of Chaos usually don't perform well. Decay brings life. Alright, so I think we just... Oh yeah, I think we got the inscribed Chaos Armor. Now let's get that. Excellent. Blessed be the putrid. We get to keep this at tier 3? But why? Like, there's no benefit in it at all. <laughs> Does improve the garrison, though. I'll still give it to, um... Somebody else, there's just no benefit for me to hold it. Just stay there for the turn to get a replenishment. Yeah. So looking at Reichland, how much is left? Is this the end of them? Oh shit! That's the end of them. And guess what? They've got something that I want, so I'm not vassalizing them. Not if they've got um those furs. Because furs means more armor for marauders. Yeah, that's mine. Oh well, fuck them. What? It'd be a bit weird, Carl Franz serving Archeon anyway. Not law friendly. We shall weave the fates, dominance. Very well, I move. I hunger for souls. Within. Gift them a settlement before taking that one. You can't gift someone a settlement that you're at war with. I, uh, who cares? Like, I'm not trying to keep them alive. It has corrupt. Who fucking cares? Now, does this give us charge bonus for cavalry? Yeah, charge bonus 5% for all Chaos Knights, Marauder Horsemen, and Marauder Horse Masters. Okay, I'll keep that. Because I do have Chaos. Nights. Mm hmm. Destruction for all. Spread ruin on them. Moving. Oh, hang on, I need to get those Marauder Horsemen. Anything here? No. Okay, keep moving. Let us corrupt. No. Alright, so here's to hoping that next turn they capture this settlement. There's no garrison there. Oh shit. Um probably should give these guys back. <laughs> My lord, since agrees. Now we're only occupying this if this settlement here gets captured. Otherwise, what I'll do is sack it, then besiege it, send one of the other armies to go and occupy this one, and then confederate them. Because I just don't want him getting wiped out, because it'd be difficult to revive him. And over here, yeah, that's been done this turn. You 
Why so many war puppies? Oh, because it, it works. It's been working for me. It's only one army. But yeah, it's been working for me. Got to be very careful with them, though. They can't take on super heavy army armies. But they've won us a, like a couple of victories at the order resolve. Was like, you don't stand a chance. Gives us more armor for Chaos Warrior units. It's fine. The thing is, Chaos Warriors already have so much armor that they don't really need any more. But getting them to 200 will make them impervious to non armor piercing damage completely. You can actually get them more armor than. Am I doing being silly? More armor than um, Chosen by getting all the iron resources. Cool. So Valkyr, yeah, we've got this one over here that can be upgraded. There will always be blood. Valkyr will need a few turns of recovery, but it doesn't seem like Throg is making his way over here at the moment. Looking at this, he's in pretty bad shape because he's fighting too many on too many fronts. I definitely would like to vassalize him, but I still want to make sure I get all the settlements that I want. So something like this. Obsidian's great, but port settlement can't make use of it. So give that away, this one away. We obviously want to keep Karak, Karak a Drak. Don't need this, he can, someone else can have it. They actually don't really have any settlements that I can make use of. Although maybe I could revive these guys. I don't know if they got confederated or not. Hard to say. Okay, moving on. Oh, hang on, we got another Nurgle thing to do. We're pretty good for gifts, so we definitely can do this. I think growth per region is unnecessary. We're doing fine for growth. Um, got like three salt resources now. Let's go with... Missile resistance for all units with Mark of Nurgle. Cool. And that should also give us quite a significant bonus in terms of um, this. Okay, dominated. let's check this. It says five, next turn it should go up to six for Nurgle corruption, um, authority. Is order construct worth it if you have a uh, ton of settlements? That's a very personal decision. Um, I don't ever put on auto construct because I don't like that kind of stuff. But if you really don't think that spending five seconds building a couple of things is worth your time, then by all means do that. That's what it's there for. It's there for when you want to be lazy. But whether something is worth it or not largely depends on a player by player basis. 11 out of 10 beard? Yeah. Thanks, dude. I grew it myself. <laughs> Gorok Croak would be a solid meme bomb of stream. I like playing Gorok, so I was thinking about possibly playing that. Elspeth starting in Nagashazar would be Jake's. Joke, joke. Um, yeah, I don't think it's going to happen. Oh, excuse me. Carl Franz Doomstacks versus Archaeon's Doomstacks. Who wins? No Lords. Well, that's really hard to say because technically Chaos Warriors are higher tier than Reich's Guard. So their base stats are better. But when you factor in that Carl Franz boosts them more than what Archaeon does, I don't know who would win.
I'd probably lean towards Archeon. Simply because of higher tier unit. But I don't know. How satisfied are you with what you read about the Nurgle rework? Pretty satisfied. A much better rework than anything that they got for uh, Shadows of Change. Way better. So that's... If the Empire and Dwarfs are in similar alignment, that will be good. Do you plan to make a video about the announced Nurgle changes? I don't know. I don't know if it's worth my time uh, doing that. Random name 55 did a 5 dollar super chat. Notice not a lot of Vampire Coast streams. Not a fan of the faction or they don't perform well. They don't perform well. Yeah, they've always performed like shit. Videos whenever I cover Vampire Coast just don't do very well. It's got to be something really interesting. Otherwise people just like, it's just a snore fest. Hey, Snake Nerd Gamer. Good to see you. Do you think it's a bit wild that Nurgle was so scuffed off the bat that he needed such a rework? Uh, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. Hard to say. Stand before me and pledge your fealty, weakling. Nope. Yeah, I mean, in the when it comes to all the different things that went wrong, 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 wrong with Total War Warhammer Three. Honestly, Nurgle is not something that I consider to have been a key contributor to it. Like, I definitely noticed very early on that Nurgle was weak, but I also thought that Nurgle was fun, and I thought that that was more important. It's just like, Korn as an example. Korn is ridiculously strong. Korn is stronger than Nurgle is weak. And I think it's been good that Creative Assembly has sort of kept Korn strong, for the most part, even though they've got a few nerfs here and there. Because it's more important to make the factions fun. If they try to balance everything out, and then it's just everybody plays exactly the same, it won't be fun, and I don't think that's how you make a good game. Okay, so one thing I'm noticing here is if I vassalize them, this will immediately become allied to me. But we'll lose out on those first. Let me just check what furs do again. I'm pretty sure it's armor for marauders. Faction wide. It's pretty good. Especially if you want to be. You drained my magic. Hmm. Okay, the revolt's going to happen over this end turn here, apparently. Now, if they rec if they recruit an army here to deal with the revolt, well, then the revolt won't succeed. <laughs> so that's something. Um, we've gotten rid of the defensive building. They've got no garrison. No garrison. That means if they don't repair this, our guys, uh, our Azazel will just walk straight in. What I could do is just besiege the settlement. Just besiege it, right? Why do this? It stops them over the end turn from recruiting a new army. It's still going to cause a revolt. The revolt will stand there. I sack it next turn. And they still get the opportunity to do that, don't they? Um... Ravage them. Ah! I know what to do. Jeez. No, not what you do. Dominance. I know what to do. 
Fly Lord's chosen. Hang on. Yeah, you can be in your chariot here. Uh, I've also got some other characters that I wanted to pop to Nurgle that I just forgot about. Virulent strikes. Any other undivided? Yep. Nurgle. Less my cankerous rot. Okay, the rest appear to be wizards. Bring me despair. I've sold to Sally. Okay, cool. And then we... A chaos. Then we do this. <laughs> no recruits chaos. for village. Because, yeah, he can obviously recruit any of these units. And by doing this, you can't recruit any of them. This is a massive cock block. No village, no none for you. Good stuff. Alright, so there's no units available to him. The settlement sacked into oblivion. Come, Azazel. Come and be revived. And then I'll declare war on you. <laughs> Alright. I definitely want Gisero for myself. But I also don't want fucking Toddy sailing around causing problems. Also, am I going to give Pack Ice Bay away? My fellow warlords converge. Yeah, it's of no value to me. And longship graveyard. No value to me. Oh, actually, it would be better to give it to a different faction. I'll give it to the Sarl. Straight to business. Where shall we raid next? The longships are ready. The reason for that is because each faction will have a base amount of chaos corruption that they cause, so having three different factions own it means three three different groups of undivided chaos corruption. Yes. <laughs> it's not a big deal, especially in a region that's naturally so corrupted. But we can see here, yeah, a huge amount of chaos corruption. Mistress of Skulls. Actually, you recovered pretty quick. Bringer of glory. I foresee destruction. The Gore Queen. Press on. Hmm. Okay. Raise the yurts on the war path. All right, that looks pretty good for her. And here's another Chaos Warrior. Just one more to go. Alright, and then Gisero, what are we doing with this? You could sack the settlement, then move your army right next to the settlement so they can't recruit a lord. Then when the rebels attack, you retreat. Uh, that, that doesn't really work so much in Warhammer 3. It w worked in Warhammer 2 doing that stuff, but in 3, they'll still manage to recruit a lord. Yeah, I've tried pulling off that kind of stuff. It's very unreliable. Do you want peace? Do not test my he kinda does. That's weird that he wouldn't give any money, considering he's about to die or be vassalized. I think I'm gonna I'm actually gonna vassalize him. Yeah. Cause I think he's gonna lose the settlement. I'm going to subjugate him. Nah, sack it first. Subjugate him. And then I want to swing Archeon back around to go after Corone first. 
rather than going into the middle. So I imagine I'll be coming back here to reoccupy this from Corone. Because they'll be going to war with Reichland. That way I can get a few turns of souls out of him. Alright, cool. Alright. Next stop for us is Grungzint, which I will occupy, hopefully permanently. Alright, Marienburg. Sorry, um, them. Give them... What's it called again? Fort Bergbras? Yep. Oh, what? I have to pay you to have it? You bitch. Whatever. I just don't want it. Yeah, they still get it tier 3. They get a much larger garrison as well. So that's fine. Alright, over here, these guys. Help out against the vampire counts. Back this way. Your demeanor tells me you aren't here to duel. Too bad. Without doubt. I guess if they don't have any economic value, I gotta pay them to take it off me. You dare! A glorifying act! Alright, it seems like most of their strength ranking is over this way, so we should be safe to take Grunberg. Especially with these guys on the way to come and help. Noln is a a uh, dark fortress, so that'll be good for us. Yeah, good stuff. The number of likes on the stream is 888, the number of corn. I was actually at 918, so I guess that was a bit late on that. This is why. Um, hey, you know, it's getting close to 999, the number of zinch. And we, we at one point, for maybe a split second, we we're at 666, the number of Slanesh. 777 was the number of... of, um... Nurgle. And 101010, 10, 10, the number of Daniel the Demon Prince. <laughs> You're never going to get to the front line. Ah, bloody throat's gone. You need a boom. How am I supposed to confederate him now? I foresee destruction. Let us corrupt. Now they will see only four dislikes, gotta be bots, right? Really? Only f no, that can't be right. That that can't be right. There's only four. Let me just check. No, it's ten. There's ten dislikes, not four. Um. Okay. So remember how somebody was saying before about ranting against CA causes view uh, like views to go down. Well, it's 99% like ratio, which is actually higher than average for a stream. Most of the time with streams, I get 98.5 like ratio. So, as I said before, ranting about CA has no fucking impact on the streams. If anything, it improves things. <laughs> any defeats? Nope. Haven't suffered any defeats yet. I'm not trying to do a no-defeat campaign. I just... You know, I'm also not trying to suffer defeats. Alright, so... They put a small I army up in there. Soul. I am Slanesh's scion. And I'm just looking to train up Siggy. We don't need to push any further down south just yet. Leak... Uh, sorry, quick spam dislikes. Look, it's up, entirely up to you. I always just ask that you be honest about liking and disliking the streams. It really doesn't hurt me one way or another which way you go about it. The most important thing is that you just give your opinion. If you like what I'm doing, then hit like. If you don't like what I'm doing, then leave a dislike. And you, if you want to post a comment saying, I normally like your streams, except whatever, 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 that's welcome, that's feedback, that's fine. But if you come into the comment section and you go like, Urgh, why doesn't he ever fight every single battle manually. You know, fuck off. This is just stupid comments like that are just useless. <laughs> you dare.
Oh my god, why doesn't he just play the way I play? The superior way. But yeah, feedback's always welcome. Just, just understand the difference between feedback and being a dumbass. <laughs> it's like, I can't really, yeah, so, well, I'm not going to give any examples. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. So, Sigvold, yeah, he's moved. Good, the Chaos Warriors getting some experience. No chosen yet. So far asking again, do you have somebody to raid tonight? Discord is empty at the moment. Also, dislikes worry me on my channel. Need to learn to deal with it. Oh, right. Just, just, yeah, just, just don't worry about it, man. Look, do the best you can. Wor worry more about the like to dislike ratio. So if it's like 99% or 90, if it's above 95%, I'd say don't worry. If it drops below 95%, then just have a look at what you did that might cause people to dislike and then try not to do it. Also, another thing to keep in mind is whenever I raid someone, you got to keep in mind that those are my viewers and sometimes my viewers are... Ugh. Not talking about you guys, okay? Not you. You guys are great. But sometimes my viewers can be a bit... Ugh. But not you guys, okay? And sometimes I can raid someone and it will send... A couple of people over there and be like, Oh my god, why aren't you playing this like legend? And they'll start backseat gaming and, and like, you know, being rather unpleasant. I'm sorry when that happens. Um, you talking about me? No, I'm not talking about you, Wolf Paul. No, you're, you're very pleasant. Um, and you know, they just can't get it through their thick head that it's not me. <laughs> you know? I am the first. Oh my god, Legend, you raided somebody that doesn't play exactly like you. How could you? You know? Those people might leave a dislike. I would say, don't worry about it. You know what? They probably won't come back next time. Just don't worry about it. Because it, I tell you what, it happens sometimes when somebody raids me. You know, occasionally a couple of like they might ask, you know, why aren't you playing like the person we were just watching? Because I'm not, I don't play like that. It's not the vast majority of people, it's a small minority, but that might indicate where you're getting the dislikes from, maybe. Now, your people are amazing, no backseat gaming, actually great, smart people. I don't believe you. <laughs> no, no, you, you're just saying that because you're here. <laughs> yes, yes. All right, here we go. They did it. They did it. Okay, if we win against Kolek here, we confederate him. I foresee destruction. All right, I'd much rather Festus get the trait. We will infect. Everybody having fun? I am having fun, actually. I really enjoy playing Warriors of Chaos. Looks like I can auto-resolve it, because I'll be able to bring in the other army. But that's good to hear, Snake Nerd, that um, that my when I do raid you, that my viewers are well behaved. I do think the vast majority of my viewers are usually very well behaved and very supportive. Alright, as long as none of this army dies, I don't really care. Should have easily been able to win it manually. Alright, this gives us another. I was gonna say. That gives us another legendary lord, so we got Kolek coming in the house now. Nice. So that is six out of the eight. Festus. Oh, we've got a giant there. Uh... 
Alright, so Blizzard Peak can be upgraded now. Ice Spewer can be handed back to Dolgan. Enter then. Are you after a drink, a fist fight, or both? Okay. Yep. Good. Alright. Festus, you make your way up here. Yeah, I need to get this one here so we start passively gaining experience. That's really handy. Okay, that's good. Then, what's down here? Karak Vrag is useful for one Winds of Magic Power Reserve. If we have a look at these guys, they they hate us. Uh, they give us... It can be a reasonably good defeat trait getting uh, his. Do you know what I found weird? Did you guys watch Colonel D Damda's um, defeat trait guide? Uh, top 10 defeat trait guide? I think he put... Um, What's his name? Goldtooth. Grease's Goldtooth one near the top. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> that guy was a little bit all over the place. Like, some of the things that he put in there, I totally agreed with. And other things were like, what? These grotesqueries. Eldritch I see. Good dude, Colonel Damders, if you want to go check him out. Witness my beauty. Yeah, like, I don't agree with everything that anyone says all the time. So it's so like, oh my god, he said something in a video that I didn't agree with. Fuck him. <laughs> you know. We're supposed to disagree here and there. That's how conversations happen. So we disagree with him and explain to him how he's wrong. And maybe he'll change his mind or maybe he'll change our mind. That's called having a conversation. How dare you say something I didn't agree with? Don't you know that I am entitled to never hear anything I don't agree with? On the internet. So if you go dislike his videos on my way? No, that's not what I said to you to go do. Anything here for us? That one maybe. Yes, my ruinous powers. All right, I think that's all of my armies moved. You dare. We shall weave the fates. Let us corrupt. Alright, construction. Probably not that much we gotta do. Let's get to it. What Thrones of Decay campaign are you gonna do first? Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but probably Tamrakan. That's what I'm leaning towards. Seems really interesting. Legend, do you like the Slayer theme for the Dwarf DLC? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. I'm down. Might end up really liking Slayers now. Oh, hang on, we got Kolek, which means... Let's see, which of these undivided ones... Okay, so Raiders, Raymond... Oh my god, what? which one's that? I still have Summer Order, so I, I should probably keep that for now. Horrifying Presence. Ooh, that's pretty good. Ruinous... Bulwark. No, I gotta keep that. Dark Portal. I do like that, but I don't need it. So I'm thinking, why don't we kick that out and we'll go Carnage Incarnate and start getting Shaggiths. Yeah. That's gonna be a bit on the expensive side. 
Gonna run out of souls if I keep this up. Why metal caster? Why male models? I don't know, man. I, I like metal magic. Is that okay with you? Why can't I upgrade doggos? Alright, I think we're done with the tent. Let's move on. Are there any quest battles to do? There are two missions. Upgrade any settlement to level 5. Can't believe we haven't done that yet. And killing Sigmar Sons. Deets Toddbringer. That's probably not... Wait. That guy's my vassal now. So that's that's not going to happen. Wow, 50 souls. So generous to get to tier 5. Moving on. Hi, Legend of War. I hope you're well. Do you think Sieges will get a rework before Women 3 support ends? I certainly hope so. No, I really, 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 really doubt it. I mean, never know, but I doubt it. Um, I mean, they they got a rework with Women 3. It didn't work. <laughs> the rework was shit. Um, I don't think that they're going to revisit it again. Boo, Malachus, boo. <laughs> oh, no. Dominic did a 10 year super chat. Second attempt, best streamer ever. Quit sucking my dick. No, it's all good. Uh, thanks for the super chat, dude. Appreciate you. Uh, do you think that dogs could maybe be upgraded with incoming rot beasts? I doubt it. I doubt it. I missed Dominic's super chat before. Oh, did I? Sorry. Let me just go up and check. Oh my god, I did too. Dominic did a 5 euro super chat. Best streamer ever. Sorry I missed that, dude. Here, have a heart on both of your super chats. Sorry I missed it. Oh man, maybe I should not read out more super chats because you doubled your super chat on the second attempt. <laughs> oh, I don't care about the money. Best streamer, I don't know, man. Amaranth? Whatever floats your boat, I don't, I don't care. I don't care. I mean, she is a better streamer than me, I gotta admit it. I cannot compete in the, that market at all. Tomorrow will be next stream? Oh, I doubt it. I didn't even think I was going to stream today. Would you take in Stray Chaos Doggo? I don't know what you mean, man. Oh, would I take in a Stray Chaos Doggo? Fuck no. Um, Dominic did a 20 euro super chat. Goal. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Jeez, from your initial 5, then additional 10, and then a 20. Damn. Appreciate you, dude. But have you tried? No, and I'm not going to because... Like, I know what I'm beat. I don't think I could... I, I, I couldn't do that. I couldn't do it. Legend Hot Tom stream? No. I tell you what, though... Amaranth may have me beat on viewer numbers, but I will destroy her in a Total War campaign. You know what? Just, just open challenge out there to Amaranth. Fight me on Total War. You know? I'm prove once and for all who's the best streamer. <laughs> what the? What the? What the? No. Unless I can't see it. No. Maybe that's going on. I can't see it. Attack. There will be a record. Uh. 
I say so. Ooh. Ready. I will guard you. I foresee destruction. I say so. Yes. No. <laughs> it says there's a rebellion, but there's nothing. I think it might be because there's too much corruption. I'm not sure. It says there's a rebellion. I don't know. I'm just gonna have to wait and see. Did you see what Amaranth made from OnlyFans? She leaked a pic of it. Well, I look. I don't care what Amaranth is up to. Like, I, I don't. I'm not interested in OnlyFans. I'm not really. I don't want to watch the streams. Really, um, this is not my thing. So I don't really follow that stuff. I kind of feel as though if I'm on on the computer one day checking out Amaranth and my wife walks in, she'll be asking me a lot of questions. <laughs> So, I foresee destruction. Nah, I'm not gonna be doing that. Also, I don't care how much money she makes. That's, that's her business. I don't care. She, she, what's she making? Like a million dollars a month? Two million dollars a month? I don't care. That just means there's a shitload of pervs out there. And if she wants to capitalize on that market, all the more power to her. I don't care. Hmm. Where to go next? There's a bunch of ones out here. Do I? What, what are you doing? Uh, Pingu five two five nine did a two dollar super chat. Who's hotter, Ica Claw, Ica Claw, Ica Claw? Well, obviously Ica Claw, the third option. If I go this way. We'll meet up with Echold Hellbrass pretty soon. Alright, let's maybe do that then. And I can funnel territory over to these guys by doing that. And there's some there's some good shit out here. Buzkalak is not a a um fortress for us though. Oh yeah, I was supposed to check on this guy here. Yeah, it does seem as though the um, the authority bonuses from the gifts have actually been fixed. The creative simply just did it quietly. Carl Franz back. Still want that settlement, but we'll have Bretonia go and take it off him. This is Bretonia. Mm, I am its king. Someone. For the lady's sake, state your demand, so I can absolutely not. Hey, even Carl Franz got dragged into it. He didn't, he didn't break the treaty. Good stuff. Yeah, vassals are very reliable these days. We're going to be a little bit careful with our forces going up against Bretonia. They got a lot of anti-large. Damn, my super chat got missed like a salad on a fat man's plate. Ah, uh, Ragnar575 did a two pound super chat. What army would you recommend for village? Um, Chaos Spawn, actually. Yeah, a Chaos Spawn of Zinch. He, um, he does pretty well with them. He likes his Chaos Spawn. Taking so long to get through. Oh, they're on the other side of that. Okay, getting to Nuln seems like a good idea. I'll get these guys to go and defend Grunberg. Defenses here are not very good. We should be able to order that. Come. 
Why can't you use Bretonia armies if you're vassal them as chaos? Uh, you can, you just can't take uh, faction leaders army, that's all. Yeah, so you can't take Luan Lielker's army or the Fey Enchantress. But you can take anyone else's army if you play as Chaos. I'm pretty sure you can. I've definitely done that before. Almost at Chaos Warriors there. Alright, over here. Yeah, they decided not to repair it. Okay, so let's go into Ambush Dance a little bit over here. They'll possibly detect us. But we will see. Anything interesting out here? Nope. Definitely was hoping to find a few more Chaos Knights in this. Or Giants. Nope. Oh, here we go. Another giant. Nice. So if I want to turn them into a Chaos Knight, they need to be... Alright, oh, they need to be rank 6. Okay, fair enough. Uh, can you take the Fane Chantress army of Lu and Leonco confederate her and is your vassal? I'm not sure. That is a rare situation that I just haven't encountered. I don't think so, but... I haven't tested that out. Oh, you're going to co fight the uh, vampire counts? Okay, you go ahead and do that. Consort of corn. With my absolute right, I'm hoping that I can give the Sile encampment over. Sorry, the Ultra spawns over to the Sile. Skulls for the Skull Throne! They might not be able to. Unrelenting murder! This is property of the Gore Queen! Karnith's awakened! Alright, good. All Chaos Warriors here. Nice. And some of them are getting ready to be chosen as well. Alright, can we give you Altar of Spawns? Where shall we raid next? The longships are ready. Altar of the Crimson Harvest. No, I can't give him this one. I might be able to give him Monolith the... F no, I'll have to give it to them, I think. I'll have to get Monolith the Flesh next turn. That's okay, they can stay there this fine. This turn, no problem. Not a big deal. That way she can get more replacement anyway. Good. Alright, what does she need? Armaments worthy of corn. I am Slanesh's scion. Okay, so yep, you just stay there, Bellacor. We have to, we have to go back because Malekith is threatening this settlement here. Unless we capture the settlement and then peace out with him. Still wants to pay us a lot of money to get out of this war. The thing I could do is send Bellacor over here. I mean, he doesn't have a great army, but he should still be able to... Uh, and actually, a few regiments of renown and good units. It's damaged. Malleus is mine. I named it. What can I recruit here? Not enough to be able to repel him. God maker. Okay. Let's try to catch him in an draw. I'm gonna be right on the edge of that. Now let us corrupt. Hopefully we can get Malachus to launch the attack here. And actually catch, catch him on that. 
I shall be. We will see. Endlessly searching. Zani, Kachami, Azir. How many other legendary loots did he manage to convert? Um, we've got six, but it looks like Azazel doesn't actually come back from here. Because the revolt, I don't know, it, it just he just didn't show up. Unless he's like standing out in some weird location. But they usually stay within an earshot of the settlement. It says there's a revolt. I've seen this happen before with... What's the other one? Man, if only we were there one turn earlier, we could have gotten Azazel. The other before he got killed by Katarin. It's one turn late. The only one that's currently alive that I haven't gotten is Village, but I, I need to get this settlement here to revolt. But maybe the problem is chaos corruption. How am I supposed to deal with that? Oh, Grung Zint, get that going. Don't know. Anyway, let's just move on and we'll just see how we go. Don't tax it. I heard it's because some countries banned porn, so some countries come on Twitch to check out that stuff out. Yeah, fair enough, whatever. Like I said, I'm not here to judge, I don't, I don't care. I think he fell for it. Yep, he did. The ambush wasn't thwarted, and his forces. Yep, cool. See ya. Worst case scenario, keep sacking until Cathay takes it, Cathay removes corruption. Yeah, but the problem is I stay in the province and cause corruption. I'll just have to monitor the situation over there a little bit and see what's going on. Because yeah, Azazel is supposed to revive here. Why would Azazel revive someplace nowhere near his starting position? Someone just tagged it wrong at Creative Assembly, because that's where he starts in Realms of Chaos. So they must have just put the same, uh, like... They must have just put the same revive position, copy-paste, into um, Realms of Chaos and Immortal Empires. I don't know. Maybe they fixed it two days ago. Um, somebody want to go into the files and check if that's correct? Yeah, you could be right. They may have fixed it two days ago. <laughs> it might have been like, hmm, Legends playing your Warriors of Chaos campaign. There's a possibility that Azazel is going to be wiped out. He'll want to revive that character. Let's make sure he can't do that. <laughs> Damn, once again, I would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for Creative Assembly deliberately changing the game to thwart my campaigns. After the trailer and blogs, do you have any hope for the DLC? Yeah, like a bit, like, I think it'll be fine. What about Festus? I got Festus.
Captain Bean did a five pounds of budget. Hey, Legend, aside from Clan Scryer, which faction campaign do you personally enjoy the most? Assuming it could still be your favorite. Corn. Thank you, Super Chat. Appreciate it. Mm, that's only for five turns. I like that. But I kind of want to get some pink horrors. It's only five turns. And honestly, everyone's running away from me. So yeah, I'll go with this. Just generally, we're living in the darkest timeline. No, I disagree with that. You're, here's the thing, people think that you're living in the darkest timeline, but... Was I standing in the spawn point? I have no idea. No freaking clue. Um, the thing is with today's world is that people are more safer, more richer than they've ever been, on average. In the you know developed world at least. But, you've also got more access to information than ever before, which means you've also got more access to misinformation than ever before. The world has been shit for the vast majority for the, of, of human existence, for the vast majority of people. Like, 99% of people have just had shit lives. Um, now it's just, like, not quite that many, you know? <laughs> Because if you, if you had been born 500 years ago, you would have been a fucking peasant turning dirt out in the field, and you would have been drafted into some army and fucking shot and killed in a, in a bloody muddy pit, and then horses trampled over your body by the time you would turn 20. That's not better. Oh, legend, I would have been born into the royal family. Yeah, okay. <laughs> what? All right. You're lost. Good. Even though our ambush was foiled, they still came over here. Maybe they feel like we can. We can win. Kill them all. To die with honor. Hey, you can still go do that, you know, in this day and age. If you feel like that's better, there are plenty of wars out there. Go and die with honor, you know? You know? Go and pick a war. There's plenty of them out there. What are you doing watching me? Go and join a paramilitary force and go and die. <laughs> I'm kidding, by the way. I just want to point that out. Do you think that that's better? No, instead you're, you're sitting at home playing games with one monitor and on your other monitor you're watching other person playing games and saying, Ah, oh, if only I lived 500 years ago where I could have died with honor. Anyway, alt tab, porn, <laughs> you know, as if that was available to people 500 years ago. Yeah. Oh, I'd totally, I'd totally enlist in the army and don't go and die in honor if I wasn't watching so much porn. My life is so miserable. <laughs> This is the worst time to be alive. Anyway, more free porn. <laughs> Google, help, help make my life so much less, less unbearable. Show me hundreds of thousands of naked women for free. This is horrible. 
Or, you know, whatever else you're into, you know. Alright, I'm sure that's gonna demonetize the freaking video. Oh well. <laughs> Alright, which way do we wanna go? So, this army. Yeah. That was worth a fair bit of experience. This guy. One more rank, he becomes chosen. Yeah, just wait for the the vampire count grind machines to go and sit into their settlements out here. Let us go and get wrecked every every time, and we'll just keep getting stronger. Dominic did a five euro super chat. Did someone said porn? <laughs> yeah. uh, YouTube auto correct. I just want to make out that I said corn. Because in the game, I may have it may have seemed like I was saying something else. Handsome and lethal. Witness my beauty. Good old offensive legend. Let's see how it's offensive. Right. Is that their only? That can't be that their only settlement, right? No, they've got a few. I'm probably not going to be able to give this settlement away. Not that I would want to. It's something I want to keep. It's got stuff. Spread ruin on them. Clan Ingrid. Weird seeing them there. What? I refuse. Alright, I think what we need to do is set up some traps for these armies that are on the way here. Because otherwise they'll just run away from us. Uh, Rhino Meister did a two euro super chat. How did you come up with the name Legend of Total War? Um, it actually wasn't the first one I came up with. I actually came up with Total War Legend first, which is why my email address is totalwarlegendgmail.com. And then I changed it to Legend of Total War. Um, basically I was trying to come up with a name that had Total War in it to let people know I was pretty good at the game. And, I don't know. It worked, so, I don't know. I, it really didn't take me that long to come up with it. Are there dwarves in Griffinwood? I'm not sure. There is a vampire hero next to your armies. Yeah, I saw that, but there's nothing I can do about it. I think I've had to fight a single battle manually with these trolls. Maybe we should create another troll army. I want to create another troll army. I got shitloads of money. Uh, I like metal. Ooh, 15. Yeah, I'll take you. Alright, we got trolls out here. Yeah, there's plenty of trolls. Alright, go and collect. Go, go, f go for your left. Just Trolls are easier. This is one of the reasons why I kind of like getting troll armies as Warriors of Chaos, because they're they're everywhere. They're so easy to find. One of the reasons why metal magic works so well, right? Every time you cast a spell, metal shifting gives you extra, extra weapon strength, which for Warriors of Chaos is really handy. The gods smile. I 
Are you a god? Pick up those trolls and hand them over to you. They will be dominated. The gods direct me. You know what, maybe we should be picking up these aspiring Just champions as well. I know I missed one from the other area. You have my promise. Destruction for all! Ready! Is Gladiator still your favorite movie? Yep. I think so. No, it's actually the Barbie movie. There will always be blood. A bloodbath comes. Where do you want clips from your stream posted? Discord, sir. Gaming Warhammer Three. Wherever you want. Whatever, it's fine. I, I don't care. I, honestly, I would prefer people not to post clips from my stream. Like, if people wanted to watch my stream, they should come to the stream. Because you guys are always trying to get me into trouble. I've been doing it forever. I don't feel like I've said anything that's going to get me into trouble today. But you never know. I mean, I never thought... I never... I never thought the other stuff that did get me into trouble would get me into trouble. Or else I wouldn't have said it. Um... But I feel like I'm a little bit wiser now. Just a little bit. Alright, all of this needs to be handed over. Let me just see if the Sarl can do it. No, I can't get them up that way. Nuggle Farley. Nope. Nope. I'll have to make it the um, Vanna Homelings. Always ready for a headbutting contest. So, Monolith of Flesh. Done. And altar of spawns. The tribe consents. And the other one can be gifted next turn. Have you watched Dune yet? I watched Dune one. I haven't watched Dune two. Hatch woman. I gotta, I gotta be honest with you, like, I thought Dune was good, but not so good that I would give it a second thought. Sword made enough like, I barely board. remember anything about the movie. Apparently, Willy Wonka power. was in it, and the girl from, like, uh, MJ. <laughs> I'm just being, I'm just being silly. I know who they are. You're going to cheese us 150 discount on Thrones of Delay? Uh, I'll look, I'll see what I can do for you. It probably won't be a lot. Um, it'll probably be with Games Planet. And I'll maybe be able to get 1% better than anyone else because I won't take a commission. Maybe. We'll see. Lionheart usually gets pretty good deals. And honestly, if you're going to buy it off anyone's link, go buy it from Lionheart's. If he's doing a Games Planet one, that's probably going to be equal to... Or, or, it's probably going to be equal to what I get you. So, go if you... Wait. That, it's not available to pre-order, is it? Let me just check this. You, you can't pre-order this. Because I think I read somewhere that it won't be available to pre-order until it's actually launched. Yeah, look, you can't buy it yet. You can wishlist it. But you can't buy them. Honestly, I gotta give Creative Assembly credit for that. You actually can't pre-order a DLC. They've actually gotten ahead of the don't pre-order Creative Assembly stuff. Because you can't pre-order it. You gotta give them some credit for that. Wishlist for now? Well, wishlisting doesn't hurt. You don't not giving them money. All you're doing is saying, hey, I want this. Um... So yeah, we'll, we'll we'll see about that. But yeah, if they don't allow you to pre-order prior to it actually coming out, I gotta give them credit for that, because that's pro-consumer. Not saying that. We'll see, we'll see what they do. 
Because they did also say in that apology blog that you won't be shown a pre-order link. Pre-order now until after. Uh, actually, I want to be behind the settlement. Until after the gameplay has been shown. So yeah. Well, I'll I'll keep an eye out for deals for you, but I don't know. I don't I don't think there's going to be much going around. All right, are we done here? All right, good. We took that out. Lord of torment. Follow Ogu's winds. The gods direct me. I see. Spread ruin on them. You have my favor. So yeah, we've got a couple of like recruiting generals just going around all of our territory, just picking up all the units that we want. What? So what we'll do now, since this one's picked up a few giants, we'll send that back to Festus. You got any more giants out here? There's these. Anything out this way? Yes, there's a giant out there. Let's go get it. We should also go and pick up the Dragon Ogres now, because we've got Kolek coming in soon. Three turns. And I can't get him that many Shagas. Yeah, I don't know what we're going to do about this. Maybe we can't get Azazel this campaign. I wouldn't... I would have gotten to him earlier if I thought he couldn't be revived. Oh, well. All right, looks like we've got another Slanesh one to do. Uh, Gift of Chaos. Let's go Endless March, because... Who cares about money now? I'm just rolling around in it. So that'll come into effect next turn. Yeah, 15% extra. Cost me 9 grand, but oops, whatever. Make 200 grand to be fine. Uh, what if in 4.2.3 they fix his spawn point? Maybe. Um, can I get a confirmation on that? You should be able to look into the game files and have a look. That may have been what happened. We don't need that anymore. Could Rebellion spawn the minor settlement region? No. No, that won't happen. Azazel's Rebellion can often show up far west hidden by the fog of war. Far west over here. Over here. Alright, why don't we send someone to go and have a look. Because that's west. Unless you meant east. Did you mean east over here? We'll send some guys to go and have a look around. Azazel, where are you? I don't see you. Big Bubba Bows, subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. Um, Legend, what other old factions will get an update like the humans and dwarves? Do you think they will ever update the Lizardman race mechanics? Geomantic Web is so boring compared to the newer races. Um, I agree with you about Lizardman. Um, from what I've seen, 
I don't think so. The only faction that I'm I, that is likely to get a bit of a rework that I've seen is ogres. I think the ogres will get a bit of a rework. Hey, look, they didn't pull out the um, armies in ambush. Hmm. When? When is it likely? Um, don't know. Sometime in the next two years. And that being said, that is not a leak. That is a... a um, uh, okay. I'm just taking a guess. Yeah, I'm not saying ogres are definitely going to get reworked. I'm saying that it, it there's signs pointing towards possibly ogres might get reworked a bit. Maybe. They also might not. Speculation, that's what that's the word I was looking for. Where will there be map parts added with the new factions or how does the DLC work? I don't know, I don't have that information. Did you see the new CA forums? They got a neat section for bug tracking with developer responses, upvotes, urgency. I'll surprise how well it works. Oh, that's cool. Uh, yeah, I don't, I'm not using the um, the new forum. But that's nice that it works. My magic is yours. Is that is all. Good. Now we see. Never stop. Let's be about this. I don't see him. Maybe he's in ambush stance. Shit, I don't know. I don't see him. Rebels don't usually go in ambush stance. We shall weave the fate. Maybe I'll go and capture this settlement first. I gotta figure something out for this. This is just... Apparently there's a rebellion that doesn't exist unless he's like... Nope, there's... Vampire counts are so busted in Wormy 3, absolutely overpowered. Uh, yeah, they're pretty strong, yeah. I just find the vampire counts to be boring, that's all. I don't really like playing them that much. Nothing wrong with overpowered. I still think that corn's more powerful. No. The Dark Prince wishes. Unleash chaos. Good more experience for me. Someone on Discord checked, and Azazel still respawns at the Red Fortress, so it must be a bug. Yeah, I don't know what I've done wrong. Witness my beauty. I wonder if corruption has something to do with it. I will I've definitely revived factions before in, like, high corruption areas. Because, yeah, there's just no revolt there whatsoever. It says there's a rebellion, but then there's just nothing. 
You have to go to the very edge of the map in the east and type in the Konami code for Azazel. <laughs> okay, all right, there we go. I foresee destruction. Alright. I am a lord of Bretonia. Never. Alright, big battle coming here. Attack. They made a big mistake by putting that outside the settlement. Oh, wow. Holy crap. <laughs> wow, this is very strong on auto-resolve. Reload maybe if the rebellion is glitched. It's on legendary difficulty. It, it would have reloaded right back to here. So what we'll do is we'll wait until it goes to zero public order. And then have a look. Maybe that'll make a difference. I don't know. Ooh. Right, too many enemies. Oh, crap. Not in this world or the other. Be a reckoning. Okay, got an idea. The storm of chaos gathers. I definitely uh... I'll have this world. It is forbidden. Alright, look, the forces there are not that strong. I'm gonna stand here, occupy it. If they send some stuff at us, we'll hold our ground. Oh, good, we got to keep the pottery. Nice. Let's see if they've got balls to send two armies against poor RK on there. There is a respawn map in Mercy Discord, one with three resources channel. Yeah, I know, that's what I'm going off. It's here. But he didn't show up. That's our problem. This is the location he's supposed to show, show up from. Do not mistake me for this. Alright, this guy here can launch the... Hang on. Can okay, this one do it? Because now that we've got more campaign movement range, if we... I just don't know what's involved in that army. Bring ruin. I can't believe. Oh, look, shit! Dwarves have taken um, Griffinwood. Hmm. I don't really care. Oh, what's their uh, physical resistance now with doggos? Ten percent and gore feast. Mm, they're getting pretty good. Probably not good enough to handle this. Long have I fought and suffered for my people. Bitch, bitch, bitch. Long have I fought and suffered. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> God, always complaining, the damn dwarfs. Why can't you just be happy to be alive? No. Spread ruin on them. Minor settlement battle. Uh, I don't want to fight a minor settlement battle. They'll probably make me fight that manually. Uh, I'm just, I'm just gonna wait here. Start to get a little bit lazy. I just don't really want to fight armies. I don't want to fight. You need a boom. Go now. Yep, we'll start feeding territory over to them. Echo's gonna give us a little bit of scouting. Doesn't look like there's any armies out this way, so it should be pretty easy to grab a bit. And as soon as we declare war on them, all of these guys can come and assist and probably get wrecked. We got Boris. He hasn't gained any experience since the beginning of the campaign. And how does he manage to get such an experienced army? He hasn't fought any battles. The Gore Queen! Ooh, I want Krakadrak. Cord's way. Okay, I don't want winter. Enter then. Are you after a drink, a fist fight, or both? 
Fine. Shadows. Let's be about this. The dark. Another one goes the over to the Norskans there. There is no escape cool. from the Easy. dark master. Will they ever rework Bretonia and Norska? Norska maybe. Bretonia probably not. Obviously. Straight to business. Where shall we raid next? The long ships are ready. A certainty. Is there any resources in this area here? No. It will be dominated. A glorifying act. See destruction. Need a boon. Okay, uh, you transfer the giants there. I'll transfer the cavalry here. Okay, then the giants double back over this way. Make your way over to. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Um. Come over here. You pick up those trolls, and you also go in that direction. And you will go the other way, this way here. Let's be about this. And Festus is trying to meet up with you as well. Oh wait, no, no, he's not. He's got to get over here first and pick up a giant. Okay, get rid of the Marauder, and I'll pick up that one there. Grab that and those. Okay. Horny Potato, last name, did uh, subscribed at tier one for six months in advance. Six months in advance. Well, appreciate that, dude. We'll do that. I had a glitch where I used Cairo's Force Rebellion in a settlement before and nothing happened, but when I used it later, it worked normally. It might just be an odd bug. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Maybe I need to wait for this to expire. And then just cause the revolt again. I don't know. I don't know what caused it. Maybe I was just standing in the wrong location. I have no idea. Like I said, that one stumped me. I'm really not sure what happened there. How are you? Subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Why are you stacking the same units in your armies? I don't know. I'm just, I'm just building armies I want to build, so I can do whatever I want now. Super rich, super powerful. I don't know. I like one unit spam sometimes. Most of the time, even. What's the richest race in the game? Oh, you could argue it being High Elves or Dark Elves. You could argue it either way, depending on your playstyle. Probably Dark Elves might be a little bit richer.
This happened with Castelton as well, as I remember. Yeah, but they actually changed his um, respawn location. Are you going to watch the Fallout TV show later? Probably not. You ever done or will do Mountain Blade 2 videos or streams? I've done three live streams of them when it first came out in early access. Uh, I won't be doing any more. We didn't really have any challenging battles at all today, did we? Definitely reached the point of where this campaign is won. <laughs> it's just like... This was a very comfy live stream. It's more about the conversation today than anything else. Oh, what do you know? Lou and Liam Crow destroyed Carl Franz. <laughs> oh wait, Boris is still out there. Nope, they they couldn't be bothered to fight me. That Archeon's army is just terrifying for the AI. They can't stand being near him. You rest is richest faction in the game by mile. Yeah, by using an exploit. Yeah. Fair enough. Most of the enemies ran away so far. Yeah, they really did, didn't they? That one got, wants to go to Grung Zint. She's not at war with uh, Norska. Gonna take a break from streaming till Danger of the K drops. Um, we'll see. I don't know what my plans are. Because I don't plan shit in advance. Yeah, most of the time when I record a video, it was... Recorded, like... Like, released a video... Five minutes before I actually finished. Uh, sorry, before I released it. Oh my god, words. Yeah, let's go with that. I'm getting pretty tired now. Oh no, Marathi gains Sword of Cain. Anyway. So we've lost our vassalization with Reichland, is that right? Yeah, they've gone back. No, 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 they're still... Yeah, look, I can't borrow this army even though it's not the faction leader. You can't borrow Boris Todbringer. So... Yeah, okay. Let's talk terms. But with any disagreements, there'll be a challenge. The correct part. All right, how likely are you going to beat... Oh, cool. It stuck you within that zone of control, at least. That's actually good timing. Because now she has to fight Fort Burgers, which she'll win. Yeah. <laughs> They're doing anything they can to run away. Yeah, I just I just don't know what happened here. That's a shame. Maybe maybe if I cause her another revolt again, it would uh, bring them back. Don't know. Anyway, we're gonna call it a day there because I am really bloody tired. I'm really starting to feel it. Let's go see 
if anyone wants a raid. Just give me a sec, guys. Okay, I think Snake Nerd Gamer is live streaming. Let me just check. Yep. Okay, so he started live streaming 31 minutes ago. He is currently playing an Isabella von Karstein campaign. All right, let's go chuck the host over to him on YouTube, and then we'll go have a look to see who wants a raid on Twitch. Really appreciate all the support today, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this sort of bonus stream. I don't know when I'll be back next. It could be tomorrow. Could be... I don't know. A week? I don't know. I don't plan these out anymore. But either way, I appreciate you. Thanks for the support, and I'll see you next time. Okay, Twitch people, let's have a look.